All right, here it is, the finale to Xenobabe Chronicles. It's me, I'm the Xenobabe. You would think it's the people in the game, but it's actually me. All right, well, as I warned already, I'm a little sleepy, so I'm sorry if I'm unenthusiastic about certain comments, but I will be enthusiastic about the story because uh, this shit never fails to make me hype. Which is your favorite babe in this game? Like, strictly this game? Uh, Melia. <laughs> gotta be Melia. If you're like honestly all of them are pretty up there. But I know the biggest babe for you know the entire community is Ricky. Y'all don't have to hide it. Anyways like I said I did a little bit of grinding. <laughs> it's okay. <clears throat> it's okay no one remembers what my level was when I uh, streamed last time right? It's fine. <clears throat> yeah yeah yeah. You might notice that um, none of these enemies have like colors on their um, on their names anymore. It's just plain. Um, no reason for that. It was like 60. It was ex yeah. It was exactly 68. I was level 68 last time you saw me play, and I am level 80. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Just for fun, let's kill a biped a bipedal uh, uh, Telethia just walking around the inside the Bionis. And if you don't remember, yes, we are indeed inside the Bionis. Um, that is where we are trying to stop things from happening. Might be over- Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it, chat. It's okay. Y'all didn't come here for the combat anyway. The thing- The other reason I want to do this is so I could fight, like, special enemies. Like, unique enemies. In the areas and stuff. Because I know they're gonna be something. And, like, because I'm tired too, I'm like, if I spend too much time on this, I will be, like, dying and, like, nodding off by the end of this stream. And I definitely don't want to do that for the ending. So, uh, I, I planned this out. I planned this all out. Metal Gear Telethia. Oh, because Bipedal. <laughs> also, Noma's here. See? Jelly Selua. That, that's that's her new name. <laughs> um, It's funny, because I was actually in a call with her when I was grinding. And she was very offended that I was killing Jellyfish. And then I had to be like, no, it's called a Jelly Selua. It's not the same thing. And, uh, and, and it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. She didn't forgive me. I killed many a Jelly Selua. Where's Dixon? Is he's okay? Is he okay? Um, about Dixon. Um, the narrative has shifted. We now don't care if he's okay. <laughs> we now officially do not care if he is okay. In fact, we would like if he was not okay. Um, and what's going on, Mel? I, I I'm doing very well. I'm pretty sleepy, but. Um, I am ready to do the finale. Also, I went from level 68 to level 80 somehow. Don't ask how, but I'm, I am now level 80. <laughs> Did he use your toothbrush? Nah, he shot me. <laughs> Bionis Interior, let's go. I, I wish I used EXP hacks. I spent like four to five hours. <laughs> Did I miss much of the game? Nope. We, we just started where I left off, where we left off last time. You look well, your highness. We were inside the Bionis still. That voice. It's Lorathea. Are you guys ready for insulin? Show yourself. Look at that. The heart of the Bionis. Which was beating this the entire time. The pulsating life of Lord Zanza. That's a big heart. Quit your yapping and show yourself. <laughs> I await right your there. highness here. She's right there. There is something I wish to show you. Your friends are welcome to join you. That is, if they survive. Ryan needs glasses. Set the heart on fire? I wish. I wish. <laughs> oh my god. I wish I could just give him heartburn Lorithia, with no tums. What are you planning? Forget her for now. Probably to kill us. We must push onto the heart. All right. Okay. Okay. You might notice some of the outfits are different. I got new gear while I um while I was ground grounding while I was grinding. Shulk has a sick fit now, as you can see. Um, his fit's way better than it was when I last time I played. Uh, Dunban. Well, his fit was usually his his default fits better. Like I said, I'm gonna go back to default clothes when we get to the final area. Um. But uh, Fiora's back in her regular gear because if, if you saw the gear she was in, if you saw the gear that she's in right now, like, you know what? Let me show you. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? 
as much as I love this, as much as I love this, I already know people are going to come in and they're just going to comment on it. Like, unnecessary, like to an unnecessary amount. So, I'm leaving it at this for now. <laughs> uh, Ryan, Ryan's just like the most normal he's ever been. Uh, Melia, Melia's got something going on. I don't even know what this fit is, but it, it, it's cool. It's cool. Ryan is perfect. It, ain't, ain't he always? Ain't he always? <laughs> like the white, it's cool. There's actually, um, there's actually a version where, uh, she has like a red and black design. And I really, really like that one. Well, let me see if it's here. No. Oh, wait, that's the cowling. Um, yeah, it's this one, the ether frame. I don't think I have the full ether frame. Oh, I might. No, I don't. I wish I did. I have to like go and buy them or something or find them somehow, but like they look so dope. Melia's kind of dripped out. Yeah, she's styling. She's styling. I got it from killing a bunch of um <laughs> from a bunch of uh, a bunch of gogols, gogols, and some other lads. Look at that. They don't even want to fight me, chat. They don't even want to fight me. They're they're afraid of me. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Alargo Selua? Huh? What you got? Nothing. Wool Selua? I don't even- you know what? I, I never killed one of you. It's COVID. It's COVID. We gotta take it out. And this is big COVID. <laughs> this is Bionis COVID. We don't play around with this. Drip too strong, they in fear. It's true. It's true. I have intimidating drip. Monado drip. Oh god, there's a video of that. There's like a meme video of that. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Um, so cool it Shulk ended COVID. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I forgot what I was going to tell you about today. Shit. I had a whole thing. Ooh, blue. That means, okay, see what I mean? Like level 75, this would have been trouble. At level 68, this thing would have been in the red. And I'm like, I'm not taking any chances to fight weird biological Spider-Man. But here we go. We're the size of a cell on Bion. It's pretty wild how small we are. It's also wild to consider like the Telethi are actually like white blood cells. Sounds like something Zanzo would create. Oh, like super COVID? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, now you will all respect me as a god. If I give you all COVID, you will treat me as god. Yep. That's actually, you know what? That's actually within his parameters. I, I can see that for sure. I can definitely see that. Did you rebuild Colony 9? Do you mean Colony 6? If so, then no. Uh, that's way too long of a quest. I've done it on my normal file. And even then, it took like tens of hours. Because it requires rare, like... It requires rare RNG drops that you have to collect. And uh, I'm, not, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to do this once in my life and never again. It was nice seeing the town get made. Yeah, the bean, the ice cabbage or whatever. I, I will say I will say one thing though. The last time I I, tr I tried to play through of this on stream, I remember, I remember talking about how rare it is, and as soon as I said that, I picked one up. Um, that there's no way that'll happen again. That was so rare. <laughs> um, we got some Telethias. They can't do shit. All right, perfect. We're, we're, we're swimming. We're swimming. If this was the final area, I wouldn't have grinded this much. But there's a whole area after this, too. So how about those black liver beans? Are, are we going to talk about it till we manifest it? <laughs> well, you should complete a colony six on your main line. Or on your main file. I don't think I have any reason to. I mean, if chat wants to see it, they could, like, look it up. Or, like, it, it can give you incentive. Like, if you want to buy this game. If you saw this and you were like, damn, I want to give it a shot. Then y'all can do it. Victorious Gross? That's my rapper name. That's my rapper name right there. Hey, yo, it's your boy, Victorious Gross. I'm disgusted. I'm going to drop some disgusting bars. Uh, yeah. I'm smelly. I'm made of jelly. Um, I, um, I, I, I met Martin Shkreli. Who's Martin Shkreli? I don't remember who that is. Um, I, call me a seal. Slap my belly. Um. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Why are you touching it? What? Victorious gross? I have to see why it's victorious. All right, it's out. That was easy. <laughs> oh my god, not victorious only <laughs> anymore. Only gross. Oh my god, my brain's gotta wake up. I can't even read the comments. 
Wow. All right, chat. Quick, scare me. Hit, hit me with a hit me with a jump scare. Give me a boo or something, so I can so I can wake up a bit more for this finale. Hit me with it. Soup. Oh. 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 All right. I, I think instead of scaring you, that makes me just want to die. I'm not really sure yet. I'm going to have to spend some time to figure that one out. Martin Shkreli is an American businessman, CEO, and hedge fund. Oh. Oh, he's that guy. Oh, I thought it was an actor. Oh, never mind. I, I just remembered who he is. Oh, he's that guy. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. Draco's Telethia. You will drink the soup. I will never I will never touch the damn soup. I will shatter the bowl on the floor before you give it to me. Do you believe in gravity? Because I just uh, finished Xenoblade 2 tonight and you happen to be streaming Xenoblade 1. Wait, what does it have to do with gravity? <laughs> but also, hello, Corrin. Welcome back in, dude. We're doing well. How, how is that gravity? It's like, hey. <laughs> Dio and Fate. Like part six. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I still don't get it. I, I still don't get how those two correlate with each other. I I, I know I I can okay. No, I still is gravity automatically a JoJo thing now. I know about part six, but how does it go to Xenoblade one? How, how is this related to Xenoblade two and me streaming Xenoblade one? <laughs> I don't I don't get it. We're gonna see Officer Robusto. Oh, is Officer Robusto in the final area, Kiwi? Wow, wow, this is this is so hard. This is so hard, chat. You just wait. I, I'm I'm like playing around now, but the boss of this area is the one that I've been dreading for the longest time. It is still notoriously known as like one of the worst bosses in the series, and uh, we're about to do it. Every time I said you will pay for your insolence, or I said insulin, it uh, and the, all, like all of chat saying it too. Like it, it's all it's all boiled down to this moment. <laughs> Is 80 the max level? Nah, it's 99. But that would have taken way too long. And then I would have been like too OP. You gotta look for him. Alright. Oh, he's here. He's in here? Officer Robusto is lurking here. Okay, hold up. Alright, good call. Good, good good call letting me know. Let's see. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Where the hell would he be? Funny thing is, I didn't have too much trouble with this upcoming boss. This boss, for some reason, is one of the only ones that, like, make me so just agitated. <laughs> and, like, just mess me up every time. It's And it's mostly because of the AI. Third Lung Bronchus. Good. You gravitated towards each other because you played Xenoblade like if you had stands. Awful reference. <laughs> I, I rated a 2 out of 10. Yup, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you've been you've been officially anime rated by me. Mystical Cle Clezida. Vivid Anston. Hmm. There's two unique enemies in one spot. What you're ready for this fight is gonna be how you grinded this far. This fight literally made me switch to casual mode. So I'm gonna pick Melia because ether based moves uh, are better on the uh, on the gank. So like her uh, or sorry, their minions. I wonder who it could be. Uh, their minions are weak to like ether. So Melly is good there. And then I'll keep I'll probably keep Dunban and Ricky. Usually I would pull out Sharla, but I think my level's high enough. And, and every time they go into the acid, quote unquote, I will call them towards me. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. We're back here. Oh, wait, we've been here. <laughs> this is an OG area. Hold up. Oh yeah, okay, P please tell me flopped here. Where where is uh where is Officer Robusto? Oh wait, it's in the heart area. Oh, okay, so I gotta go a bit what the hell? Why do I hear boss music? What do you mean Victorious Gross is back? I don't give a shit about you. I killed you! I thought I killed you. It's over for you. I, I wish I could ride on those I wanna eat those blood cells actually. They look like rupees. Victorious gross again! Homie oh, dropped a shit mixtape and is like, I'm coming back for another one. They look like they do look like hard candy, but they kind of look like the retirement home ones that you find in grandma's like, you know, cookie tin. But they still look sick. Uh -huh. Me when I'm Shulk. Uh -huh. Lilia Shulk is my main Ryan for high damage and straw to keep healing the party. That's what I, like when I first played this game, that was my team for the entire game. And I, I like I come I've come to realize it's messed me up so bad. 
But I mean, it's definitely something you can pull off. But yeah, level 65 in this area will absolutely kill you. <laughs> That's not officer robust. Okay, you can hop down a bit on the to the left. Wait, go back. Back this way. How many rations do you have left? Will you survive 2023? I think I will, Sonny. I think I will. This way. Okay. Off. Uh, take a detour on the left. God, this song's so fun. I love this song. I don't know why it makes me think of Digimon. If you eat the blood cells, that probably wouldn't be good for the Bionis and Zanza. So go ahead, eat them. Oh, you're right. We could do it. We could do it. Down here and then left. Which left? This left? That left? This way? Is this the left? Okay. Okay. Um, I want to play Xenoblade 2 at some point because I've never played it. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, strategize better in, in case there's any fights like this in that game. Okay, biggest warning for you, Node. Uh, in the final area of that game, there are many fights where it's like 10 goddamn... I found them! Where there's like 10 people at once. So prepare yourself for that. It, it's a little cheap in the final area, I'm not going to lie. But And the other thing too is uh, try, maybe look up a guide online or something if you can because the tutorials in 2 for some reason are kind of garbage. Other than that though, the gameplay itself is amazing. Anyways, shall we do this? I think I'm going to give some... <laughs> Thank you for the gift sub to Officer Robusto. I very much appreciate it. We're going to beat his ass right now. And welcome in, um, Hibiscus Sugar. That's an amazing... Oh, it's Iris. Well, amazing name, though. I, I love Hibiscus Sugar. That's a good one. Welcome back in. Mm, okay. Give him a little bit of a purge. All right. Let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. I can't believe- I don't even know if I've ever- like, I- I, I probably have. I, I- I've made it like a goal to fight every unique enemy, but like, I don't remember this dude. His name is actually Officer Robusto. <laughs> he's a little officer? I mean, he's a- he's a- he's a big- he's a big robust officer, sorry. Where's your officer hat? If you're an officer, where's the hat? Where's the handcuffs? And meanwhile, he's doing his g genome break? What are you, Metal Gear Solid? Tell me about this officer with Busto. Snake. He's capable of He's capable of committing genome break. Oh yo, the chorus! We actually made it to the chorus! Did Shulk just say where am I? Alright, we can definitely do this. Let's go. Mm. 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 Keep it going. Yes, keep that train going. All right, let's have the breakdown, chat. Let's have the, let, let the breakdown fly, lads. You can to me to you all you want for this. Right before he dies, here we go. Damn the damage. I've been doing good, Mel. You know what? Screw him. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, like Robusto. That? Thank you. Thank you, chat. Thank you for joining in on the hype. Wow. Ass beat. Azura arms got. Actually, what's, what? what, 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 what okay. are, are they good? Are Azura arms good? Ooh, they're too heavy. I mean, Ryan could probably wear them then. He sure can. There you go. Gloves. If you're a Ryan with gloves fan, today's your lucky day. Rest in peace, Robusto. He was pretty robust. You're definitely ready for the final boss. Yeah, to those who don't know, like, the recommended level to beat this game is, like, level 75. Um, but I, I am prone to mistakes. The other reason, though, is because <laughs> even when I play this shit off stream, I am addicted to this game, and I couldn't stop playing. I was just exploring the world and stuff a little bit. You know, trying on gear. Crafting some gems. I'm sorry. That's the, that's the number one way of, like, cheating on you all. I crafted gems without you, chat. Just a little bit, though. There wasn't enough to make anything, like, super useful, but I did craft some gems without you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh, that's pretty up there. I like that. Let's go check out the heart, shall we? Look at that big freak of a, of a, of a, of a meat orb. Ain't even looking like a heart. We missed out on some to you to me. You did. You did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I even had a weird one where it was like Ricky and Shulk. Because their affinity is higher than Ryan and Shulk. That's so hateful of you, Shady. I'm sorry. Just for uh, just for that, I will make sure this finale goes so smooth. 
All right, you will enjoy the lore. We'll all cry. Or maybe it'll just be me uh, for the 50th time. Uh, who knows? Either way, ghostly Mahatos. Well, I mean, we might as well. Oh, I would have dodged this guy. I would have avoided him. But now, since we're on that high level, 76 to 80, but he's a special 76. Let's do it. Can Officer Robust show up in Mario's Big Adventure? <laughs> maybe. I feel like he's a meme that'll die within now. <laughs> but you never know. You never know. All right. All right. We want that robust cameo. Oh, man. I just realized. Wait, wait, wait. What level is um, Territorial Rupart at? What level is Territorial Rupart? All right. All right. Robusto who? See, he's he already, already gone. He's level 80? Man, he's level 81. Man, I have a funny idea, chat. <laughs> I have a funny idea. Something we've never done on stream. Something we've never done on stream. It, 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 seem, it, 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 it seems like it would only be right with our grinding. Before, yeah. Before, before we hit up the end. Maybe, maybe, maybe we give that a shot. Maybe we fight Territorial Rothbart. But first, how about a banger chorus again? Oh man, you might have a healing aura, but can you heal in chain attack mode? I don't think you can, Ghostly. I don't think you can. You just fell for the spicy keychain, homie. Alright. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's not gonna eat shit long enough. It's okay. I'm guessing I could probably purge his aura. Immovable. Oh, immovable Gonzalez would kick my shit in, wouldn't he? Or, or, or do I have enough? I wonder. Good luck, Xenoblading. Thank you, Abby. I'm finding a special enemy right now as we speak, but I'm about to beat his ass. I fought an enemy just now called Officer Robusto. He's 90? Okay, yeah, hell no. And he has spike damage. But also, hi, Abby. Hope you're doing well. Um, Noma and I were looking at your, uh, we were looking at your ghosts, your ghost avatars that you've been making, like the commission ones. And we were just complimenting, like, how cute they were and how, like, talented you are. Just thought you should know, we think you are insanely talented and cool. But also, yeah, I hope you're doing really well tonight. Oh, wow, that was a lot of gear for just Melia, huh? <laughs> thanks, Noma. <laughs> I'll tell Noma you said thanks. Also, okay, okay, Avi, I have to ask, okay? Okay, this guy here, right? Now, this guy or this guy? <laughs> if you had to pick. For me, it's this girl and this girl. <laughs> Please say, Ryan, the big beefy guy or the handsome older guy? All right, what did I just get? I think I got a bunch of staffs from Melia. I wonder if I could throw one on for her. Ooh, let's go. First one looks emo, second one looks himbo. <laughs> You'll be happy to know that this is just a classy adult guy. Like, very, very, like, gentleman-y. Um, yeah, he, this guy's absolutely a himbo, though. Can I not just have both? That's fine. That's fine, because I like all of these ladies, so. <laughs> I was telling chat, uh, I was like, like, I had to put on, like, her, like, um, like, this fashion gear for her. Because her actual outfit right now looks like this. <laughs> And I was like, people are going to come in and make way too many comments. Um, now, I don't think it's bad at all. But, you know. Yeah, there you go. The floosh face. Um, and then here's my drippy on Shulk. On Shulk. All right. Now you start at Fiora or Melia. Melia. It, it, honestly, it's tough. But, like, it, when I think about it long enough, it's not tough. You know what I mean? Definitely Melia, but Fior Fior is fantastic though. All right, her chest is just two spears. You see, you see what I mean? Already, you see? I think, I, th I think, I think it's love. <laughs> I can't. It sounds, yeah, it sounds weird. No, they're just lovely characters in this game. That's all. I appreciate all of the design of all the characters. Oh, you could overkill on chain attacks. You know what's funny? I thought you could. The other games have spoiled me. <laughs> She's very gorgeous to me. I agree. Same. Go give the Bionis a heart attack. Yeah, I'm about to give this thing cardiac arrest. It already looks like... Honestly, this, this heart looks infected. But, um, you know. Who am I to insult the innards of 
God. I should have cicada, that too. All right. Oh, wait, let's go. You know what? That might be a black liver bean. Chat, that might be... That might be an RNG item. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Blood worm. God, yeah. what, what even is a blood worm? It, it. It's not, it, it's, it's, if not made to be hell, why soft sphere? Exactly. You see, Avi's got the right idea. <laughs> I mean, what? I mean, what? I, I don't know what Avi's talking about. Okay. Speaking of Melia, though, I am going to swap to her. This is a Melia fight. All right. Goodbye, Shulk. We will not be able to see the future for this one. But let's, uh, let's, let, let's, let's, let's cook. Let's cook for a bit here. Bionis needs to see a doctor about those worms. Yeah, I feel like the Bionis has a lot of... I mean, the Bionis does have Officer Robusto. Just, just... Oh, ew! In his pathways. Welcome to my world. I must and say... Heartburn? I am <laughs> That's your surprised. Word? Zanza's vessel truly does have a will of its own. They really just calling me and that now, huh? looking quite sprightly. All right, lady. I'm still alive. I won't die. Not yet. And that's why we're here. Oh, you can. Everyone oh, okay, who good. lives in this world has a life. See the future. So, I mean. it shouldn't be threatened by anyone. We'll never give in to Zanza. The Zanza. Mm, so full of passion. Well, if it's life you're looking for, I'll show you true. By life. the way, this fight's gonna make you mad because of the. Well, <gasps> like, you'll see. <laughs> Not because of the fight itself, but because of what she's doing here. Kalian. She's using Melia's brother against her. Brother! Piece of shit. There is no use in calling. But it, it gets worse. But it gets, it gets worse. Is complete. Abby, he you're not going to like this lady. Why is she kissing him? He's like hardly even alive anymore. Really? Like what's happening? No, <laughs> that's gross. That's my brother. Ah! Or, or like Melia's, but like still, what the hell? Do you know the meaning of the word telethia? It means that which eliminates impure life. Impure life, just like you. Time to pay for our that insolence. That which Lord Zanza does not require shall be extinguished from this world. Yeah, that's my brother-in-law. You're right. Oh, okay. Is she racist? She actually kind of... <laughs> yeah. She actually is kind of racist. <laughs> it's funny. That's actually a point I like didn't even realize or like I forgot to remind myself about. But yeah, yeah, she's pretty racist. <laughs> actually, racism is a big theme in this game, and we actually helped solve a lot of the racism. Also, this is the worst fight in the game, Abby, like by far, because your enemies can run into acid over there, and you have to try and call. Or, sorry, your friends can run into the acid over there, and you have to call them back because their AI like. <laughs> Their AI won't allow them to leave sometimes. All right, we're gonna kill the we're gonna kill the ads here, and then we're gonna go we're gonna go for her. Please make better life decisions. Yeah, she's pretty ungoated. And yeah, our, that that guy there, she basically turned that 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 um that man sticking out of the the dragon there. She turned him into the dragon, and it's actually the character I'm playing as. It's her brother, who who was really nice and wholesome, by the way. And uh, now he's like, now he's like that. And then she went and made out with his unconscious body, which, you know, a little weird. Little, very weird. Who am I fighting? Oh, okay, there we go. The summon ether did? Yeah, yeah, these guys suck. By the way, I don't actually fully know how to play uh, Melia, I, like to this day. I, I, I think I got the idea though. In fact, look how much life we're taking out of her. Holy shit. All right, you will pay for your insolence. The kiss is very creepo. There's there, there's a way worse one. There's this other guy who betrayed us who like actually shot and killed Shulk for a little bit. Shulk got to come back to life. And um, he talked to Melia, which is this girl. And she was, and he was like, who knows? Maybe you and your brother will die and re, you know be reborn and maybe you'll be lovers in the next life. Which is like, why even drop that line? Like, why, is, why are they so creepy? These enemies are, oh, they're such shit. They're such shitheads. And they all work for God. <laughs> but God is also pretty, uh, God's also pretty not so great, so. Dixon, that was so specific. Yeah, question mark about, yeah, it was very, it was very out there. That, that's like a line you wouldn't hear, like, like, you just don't hear that in this game or any of the games. So, so that was just so out of pocket. <laughs> yeah, Melly can't catch a break. Her entire race got turned into these mutant birds. Um, She's in love with the main character who already has a love in, in the game. 
that's nice. And, and then her brother and father got killed. And now we're fighting her brother. It's like, it's, it's not good for her. <laughs> you know, it is good though. Me beating the shit out of her. Let's go. Oh wait, I just, oh, never mind. She can't go to sleep. That was a bad move. <laughs> You'll pay for your insulin. You gotta pay for your insulin, chat. Told you. I told you. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna pay for the insulin. You gotta do it. Do it. This actually makes me feel diabetic. <laughs> this is wild. I got three bucks. Is that enough? Not in our economy. I'm sorry to say, not in our economy. Oh shit, I'm dazed. Oh no, she has a sweep attack. Oh no, oh, no. the bed's dead. Wait, no, this run's going bad. Okay, wait, hang on, hang on. I can, I can get him back. I can get him back. Let me just get over there. Get your ass up, done, Ben. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. Uh, the worst part is the ads. No, the ads here are awful. I hate these things. Especially since they're ether based. <laughs> they can take forever to die if you don't have, you know, ether attacks. As a diabetic patient myself, I can confirm that I do sadly pay for my insulin, and I'm so sorry that you have to. I'm so sorry that you have to. Oh god. That should just be like a free, like, necessity. Okay, there we go. Is that the right wording? Yeah, I think that was the right wording. Yeah. Meltdown. And you're about to have a meltdown, you little puff cloud. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I, I think she has like a- because the chain attack didn't work on her, so I'm guessing they, uh, they, they put a barrier on her. It's fine, though. We got her ass now. That went so much better than I thought it would. Even at level 80, this went better than I thought. Eat shit! And no, and no one went into the- no one went into the, the um, the green stuff. Goodbye, insulin. Goodbye, racist bird lady. Welcome the non-racist bird lady, which is ours. Oh, <gasps> brother, is he okay? But brother, is that really you? Yeah, I'm just gonna hold my tears in. <laughs> oh, I have longed to see you. I too, Melia. Brother. I must apologize to you and to everyone. Because of our transformation into Telethia. I am a princess, but I brought misfortune upon the high end here. I Wait, none of this was your fault? I You literally didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> no. You are mistaken, Melia. The Telethia gene lies dormant within us all. There was no escaping the cursed blood in our veins, sister. It was fate. Oh, this song That too. is why our father sought to dilute the bloodline. See? <laughs> the foreshadowing's insane. You are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. But how? You have the power to end our suffering. Knowing Literally this, everything is still going both very I wrong. And father were happy to sacrifice ourselves. Oh, uh, yeah, he's not going to. It gonna, was our choice. He's not going to make it. Oh. Brother. There is no need to fear. After all, this is precisely our wish. In the end, you are the only ones who can stop Zanza. Yes. Now, leave her to me. You must go. You must accompany Shulk. Oh man, please blow the Lorithia up. Lorithia, please blow her up. Yes, do it. No! Do it. My Dilethia. You, what have you done? Eat shit. I have done nothing. This is your destiny. Accept it with dignity! Ah, <laughs> Good. My body! No! <laughs> eat shit! Eat shit, eat shit! Immortality! Ah, <laughs> Goodbye! Ah. <laughs> Goodbye! Immortality, my ass! Brother. Call me the Colonel, because I'm making chicken. Melia. At long last, I can be with Father. You must now live your own life. 
The path you forge, the future you choose. That is the hope of the High Entia. <laughs> Goodbye. And thank you for the sub fish. Hope you're doing well. Xenoblade's great. Thank you, brother. Your words will stay they with They killed him. Forever. Oh yeah, he's dead. A, a lot of bad things have happened in this His final words. act. Half of her race is like entirely oh, wiped out, or kinda. Ricky heard. Ricky heard. Ricky heard Melly's brother. You heard. <laughs> you, uh, hell yeah. Alien say hope of bird people. <laughs> I love Ricky. Where Melly's brother? Oh, Ricky not see him, but Ricky hear him. That means she Ricky. wasn't. She wasn't hallucinating. That actually was him talking. You too heard his parting words. Thank you. Oh man, <laughs> oh man, it's only gonna get worse from here, I know it. Because you know. <laughs> I don't Maya. know what about this game. Thank you for your concern. My emotions I am are all right. Get worse from here. Let us go and secure the future my brother so hoped for. We will, together. <laughs> Such all right. a brave princess. Here's the other, like, asshole. <laughs> Dixon! Don't look at me like Axel that. Axel Rose over here. I take time out of my schedule to send you off to a nice spot. And that's how you welcome me. What do you mean? I'll be waiting at Prison Island. I've picked out a lovely place to return this is your the final flesh area. and blood to the Bionis. Essentially. Don't keep me waiting. See ya later. He is a fun villain. I just, I hate him. I hate him after what he did. How do you raise Shulk like a son and then shoot him through the chest? Come on, everyone. We've got to get to Prison Island. Bruh. Okay. I know for him, though, it was like a small part of his life, like raising Shulk and stuff. Like, that's a very minuscule part of his life because he's been around as long as, like, Zanza, essentially. Not as long, but, like, you know, long enough. Um, So he's been around for, like, millennia. <laughs> That's the rite of passage. That's how you get the adult age. <laughs> what gets shot through the chest? Shot through the heart. And you're too blame blown. And you give love a bad name. Sorry. Had Bon Jovi stuck in my head. True though. True though. I can't say I've been shot through the chest, but I, I broke my leg once. Does that count, Abby? Am I an adult after that? My femur did a bit of trolling once when I was younger. It went... Did it get a bullet in it? No, but it... Like, it, it snapped in half. So technically, it's like someone shot it. Hey! Does, does, that, is this, does that work? It's Prison Island. So it no? just sunk into the Bionis head. Lame. Oh, Dundun. Ricky, feel funny feeling from above. Ricky instincts so say Dixon is there. We're inside the yes, Bionis' head. I agree. Stop praying to Zanza, Dixon. We're coming! Also, yeah, we're going to fight Rothbart now. Well, you know, <laughs> as we're on the Bridge of Grief, <laughs> we're back to Prison Island. Remember that Zanza or like Arglis, Zanza in Arglis's body was sealed here. Um, But we never actually explored all of it. Now, I'm going to drop something funny on you because I can now. And chat was giggling when we first reached uh, Prison Island way back in the playthrough. Um, it plays a bit of Zanza's theme, uh, which I don't want to say too much about, but it plays a bit of his theme at in Prison Island when we first appear, just to like foreshadow that, hey, uh, this dude is here, um, which is really, really cool. Anyways, let's go find the big guy who's been torturing us since the beginning of this game. UAC facilities are a portal to Mars inside. It do be looking like that, huh? No thoughts, only Prison Island. Just wait till you guys hear the song. The song that plays in that area is so good. I'll wait till you see the big... Well, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at the big. Wait till you see the big, chat. Now let me do my goofy run for a little bit longer. You would think I was talking about an enemy when I said the big. I meant the furniture. But we'll get to that. You'll see what I mean. 
<laughs> Y'all see what I mean. There he is. I see him in the back. Is it Officer Robusto? It's the... I wish. I wish. Wait, it's to see the big. It's even more than the robust. Not a robust. That's what, they, that's what the money's called in Roblox, right? <laughs> I don't think that's the money in Roblox. And before someone's like, you know it's not shady. You're just trying to be funny. And to that I say, yes, I am funny and handsome. Thank you. There he is. He's still a level higher than me. Can we do this? I think we can do this. So to those who don't know, at the start of like every Xenoblade game, there's always this guy here in like the beginning area. And he's always some high ass level just to scare you. Let's try it. Roblox speedrun when? <laughs> You know, I've never touched Roblox in my life. I wonder if I should just do it one day just for the lulz. The same way I have to do Fortnite one day and Abby has to be my Fortnite guide. I feel like Abby's... Just, Abby? Abby? Who the hell's Abby? I feel like Abby is now obligated to do this. <laughs> Abby. Abela. Abela Robma. Oh god, there's a river pushing me. Hang on. Okay. Fine, this is fine. Just get your aggro off of me. Here we go, here we go. What do you mean flop tier? We have Jingoistic Dalma or whatever the hell his name was. <laughs> totally the same thing, right? I say while crying. Um. Damn, that sucks, Nana. What the hell? <laughs> How does that even work? That 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 sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Ba, 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 ba. Default dancing. Will you teach me how to default dance and how to get a number one victory royale Avila Rosma? In chat right now, the Avila Rosma. Chorus! Let's go, it's banging! Hang on, you getting the breakdown? Are we getting to me, to you breakdown? Is it to me or is it to you, chat? Oh shit, he's gonna... Wait, no, never mind. Never mind, it's gonna change. It's gonna change. Because we're gonna do this. <laughs> sorry, goodbye music. <laughs> goodbye music. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, chat. It's okay though, we'll chain attack, kill him, and it'll be fine. Bombastic rock art. What's going on, DJ? DJ, there, there's an enemy in this game. That I, I, I didn't even remember that he was in here. His name is Officer Robusto. And it's just a big spider. <laughs> Does that shit not go hard? Alright, we did it, everyone. Territorial Rothbart is dead. Revenge? Gotten. Acquired. We got, we got that revenge. I still don't know what got even means. I thought it meant got damn. Turns out it's not that. Turns out it's not that. Um, let's see. None of the shit. None of the shit we got was really that good, huh? It was. It's like heavyweight, but like not amazing. Officer Robusto is gonna robust you for your crimes. <laughs> and what crimes would that be? I am the most innocent person in existence. It's true. The Meteor Nibbler. <laughs> that that that's such an adorable name. God damn. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well tonight. Do you just say stuff without checking, uh, what it is? What do you mean? Oh, oh, like, yeah? Oh, uh, sometimes. <laughs> Some when I consider it, like, a zoomer word, then, like, sometimes. Like, I'll be, like, goaded with the sauce before knowing what that means. Yeah. Aggro up. Okay, maybe I don't want to give that to Melia. In fact, I'm actually done using Melia now. And Dumbbands agility up. He's, he's stacked on agility, which, uh, is what I wanted. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. <laughs> Twitter bookmarks. <laughs> That's like my curse of raw. All right, Prison Island. Let's do it on the Bridge of Grief. Why are all of Ricky's weapons so evil looking? It's so good. He's so he's such a sinister little gremlin at times. I love that he has an attack just called Bitey Bitey, and it just makes people bleed. And that's it. Just this, this little man. Look at him. This 40-year-old father of 11. <laughs> God. Anyways, I think we're good with what we got for now. Um, 
But anyways, remember, once again, once again, just for lore reasons, because now that we know that, you know, Hyenti become Telethia, remember that they said if these are their ancestors? Now it makes sense. And also, music time. I like how it cut off. There we go. We're going in, boys. God, this area looks so nice. This is the final area. Not the Babeli Barg. Okay, I'm not going to fight these guys in the first room because I kind of want to hear the song. So, let's go, lads. Are, are you ready? Are you all ready for the finale tonight? It's been a long path. It's been like almost 40 hours of gameplay. Are you ready for this? I'm not ready, but I'm excited. All right, let's do it. We are so ready. All right, let's go then. Let's go. And welcome in, Vim. Hope you're doing well. Let's do it. Ricky and Born to World of Strife absolutely carried my playthrough. They're pretty much like the dream team <laughs> absolutely the dream team do your best i shall snorks let's get this shit get his ass yeah let's get some revenge he did some vile shit <laughs> xanta's done some vile shit i don't even have to recap you all know let's do this shit i will dono if i shed another tear <laughs> you better hang you better hold on to that wall of tight because uh, we're not done with the crazy shit, let me tell you. Also, okay, I, I gotta ask. So, you have the Gogols and the Rockbarts. Is this thing supposed to be an ancestor to the Rockbart lads? Because he just looks like a, you know, an ancient version. And these have to be, these have to be like ancient enemies. Because it's goddamn Prison Island. These are like, these are like from Zanza's time, I'm gonna go ahead and say. Um, so, you know, bad. Obart, Obart, maybe? Yeah, because has, he has the same exact, like, face and everything. Or like, yeah, almost the same. Obart, Obart is such a goofy name. Oh no, Abby, one of the best parts about the Xenoblade series are the goofy names. Special enemies have even funnier names because it, it'll just be like an adjective and then um, and then a normal name. There, there's an enemy in Xenoblade 2 called Sad Bernard. Officer Robusto. There's, um, what are some other really funny ones, chat? You guys got any big favorites? Like the ones with like the really average ass names. <laughs> Also, this is what I meant by the big. There's big furniture. Look at the big chairs and the big dining tables. Because yes, this actually used to be an ancient prison. For goddamn giants. Look at the look at the size of that fork. It's almost as tall as Shulk. That's the big. Oh yeah, there's yeah. Final Marcus and Final Final Marcus is like genuinely one of the strongest ones too. White Eduardo. Okay, I don't remember White Eduardo. What the hell? Is that actually his name? There's Sheldon the Dentally Challenged in X. I, I remember Sheldon the Dentally Challenged. <laughs> oh, we gotta stream X at some point. The real question is, do I stream X before 2 and 3? I think I should do 2 and, th and 3 and then do X as an encore. That might be more fun. White Eduardo always stuck out to me. I'm surprised it didn't stick out enough to me. That's a wild-ass name. Do all of them at once? God, I wish. <laughs> I wish. We got some Ageshus. What's your Ageshu? I don't even know. That's not even a pun. I'm going to kill this guy. <laughs> there was one in the Makana that had a wonderful name. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know. Let me know. Oh, man. Um, They should make forks for ACs. If they if they added a fork weapon to... Uh, I almost said Animal Crossing 6. To Armored Core 6, I would play Armored Core 6 again. And I already did all the I already did all the routes. You know, not to brag or anything for the 50th time, but I already did all the routes. Also, I'm in the final act of Liza P. I'm in like the final few areas. And uh holy shit. That game that game is so hard. <laughs> it's really fun. It's really fun. It's just oh my god. Um but I'm gaming. Whoa! Who the hell? Serene Im Imlali? <laughs> Imlali? Imlali? What is that name? What does that even mean? All right, time to time to purge, time to purge the spike damage. So those who don't know what the spike damage is, whenever you see it, it's like whenever you see the purple around their name, like the purple spikes, that means if I hit them, I'll take damage, and I have to do a certain thing to debuff them, but it only lasts for a certain amount of time. Serenity Indy, <laughs> oh my God, it is! It's Serenity Indy. Holy shit, she's a dinosaur! Wait, it's that actually makes sense. She has her whole Yi thing, the Yi Nation. Oh my God, it's actually Indy. This is wild. <laughs> This is wild. Okay. I've killed three different streamer friends so far. I've killed... I've technically killed Bunny, so I've killed Abby. I killed Noma. 
inside the Bionis, and now I'm gonna kill Serenity. This sounds so violent, I'm so sorry. It's not on purpose. It's not on purpose. I have to do it. They're, they're, like, they, they came after me first. Has there been anyone else? <laughs> I mean, if I kill, if I kill Territoria Rockbart, and Rockbart's a monkey who likes bananas, and Ema likes bananas, does that mean I've killed Ema? DJ Bronze League when? Wh which enemy would count as DJ? What enemy do you guys think would count as DJ? Whoa, where'd that chest come from? What the hell? Are you really your friends if they don't die brutally by your hands? True. True speak right there. Oh my god, I'm actually full of crystals. Oh my god, just tell us about the crystals. Have you killed an owl? No. Yes. I've killed many owls in this game, actually. <laughs> I've killed Luna. So that means I guess I've killed Luna. What enemy are you in this game? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard because, like, I, I mean, I guess. So, like, with DJ, it would have to be like a, like a dog enemy or something. Because, like, pug, right? Are there any dog type enemies in this game? For me, it would be a bug. And like we've killed bugs, so I I I I was probably one of the bug enemies. Hmm. I mean, technically, there's like, there's like the um, there's the wolf enemies, right? So that counts. Okay, we've killed DJ. I've killed everyone. I've killed every streamer friend. Then, wait, what would Natalia Cat be? <laughs> I mean, okay. Nat has cosplayed Fiora, and Fiora died at the beginning of the game. So, I, I guess the game killed her. <laughs> Shady is the Skeeter. Don't make me the Skeeter. I don't want to be Skeeter Cicada. <laughs> the genocide route. Every streamer friend is dead. The route. We also fought Fiora runs. That's true. That's true. We did fight her as uh, the Silver Mechon. So, yeah. Done. Since Shady gives off protagonist vibes, that means he killed Shulk, which is true. <laughs> Let's go. I actually got a comment today on my YouTube of someone being like, man, this guy has a real protagonist voice. And I was like, hell yeah. Shulk is that one DM. <laughs> Let me fight. Oh, it's what asshole time. You so long? It's asshole time. Dixon, <laughs> are you even trying to fight? Things are going to get a lot worse if you don't buck up your ideas. Come down here and say that. Yeah. Yeah, you tell him, Charlotte. Oh, that's a big what man. What is that? That's a big man. Would you summon Asmodeus? <laughs> what is this? Jesus Christ, Dixon. Okay. Big Obart. Literally, a, he's like, this is for killing my sons. It's the warm-up act. If you can't get by this one, you don't stand Kill the territorial Rockbart. And now we got a big Obart on us. Obart. Stop these games, old man. You'll have to stop this thing first. All right. All right. No problem, right, chat? Big Bart. <laughs> I'm just itching for a good old-fashioned scrap. Big Bart. If that's his name, I will. I will shit. <sighs> if Everyone, you get close to be that. Careful. Monster one, do it, Ricky. <laughs> oh no, little this man. This thing is no match for us. Did look like he was about to make the chopper face. All right, Opalis Obart. All right, fine. <laughs> Fine. Let, it, let that one slide. Sick boss music time. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Obelis. Obelis. He doesn't have any obes, he's obeless. Me when I'm lacking in obes. A, a cry, smile, laugh. Me when you're lacking in obes, chat. Who has more obes, chat? Me or you? The real question is, do you have the obes to answer? My obes, sad face. 
That's a good chat message. I like that one. My obes. You have three obes? That's that's a lot. That's a lot. All right, that was easy. Oh, but now it's the battle arena. That wasn't it yet. Oh. Oh wow, that's a high level. Yeah, imagine me coming here at the level that I was at. <laughs> Demon Pavlovsk. Good. Yep. Pavlovsk. Very good. Very good. Good name. Me, me when I get the Pavlov effect when someone scrunches a paper bag. I'm not lying, by the way. When someone, like, crunches up a paper bag, I get hungry. I have, I have, I have Pavlovian effects on me, chat. Help. Please send help. If someone just shows me a paper bag, I get hungry. Does anyone else have that, or is that just me? Dog boy, I swear to God. I will fight. I will fight. I'm a level 80, all right? Level 80 of Mafia boss from that phone app game, all right? And you know you don't want to mess with that, because it's unbelievably cringe. I love Paolo. That shit works for me 100% of the time. Right? Shit's wild. Shit's wild. You're 80 years old? I, you no? Know? Maybe. I might be. <laughs> That's how Mafia works. Not gonna lie, that shit actually made me laugh back when that was like a thing. It's just, it's so stupid. But now, like, after that, like, a like now, now the ads try too hard and it goes into like ultra weird territory where it's like, this is just messed up. <laughs> like, I, I can't, I can't deal with this anymore. It'll be like, it'll be like, guy gets rejected by girl. Girl gets mauled by zombies. Guy laughs because he got rejected. But then he like shits himself and he flies off in his shit. And then he lands his shit onto a couple who are like in the middle of like doing the do. And that's the ad. And I know that sounds ridiculous, like I'm making up some weird gross shit. But to those who have seen those mobile ads, you know I'm like right on the money with that shit. You know I'm on the money with it. Yeah, that sounds like a, like a real ad. I can literally see this in my head. You see what I mean? Exactly. There you go. That shit's real. Rare behemoth crystal. I actually have no room for crystals. Holy shit. Let me guess. More enemies. Wow. Yup. The Sanja ball. Oh my god, I've even killed Sanj. No one's safe. Okay. Pursue Dixon. Alright, easy. Turn Shady into a mobile ad. If that happens, just know that that is my, like, YouTuber downfall, quote-unquote. That is when it's like, man, even Shady. Even he ended up being a problematic YouTuber. And then I have to, you know, open up the camera, grab my guitar. I was hoping you guys wouldn't find out this way, but... It is true. The allegations are right. This whole time, I was a mobile ad. I've been here to test the algorithm and test all of your interest. In Scrimblow tech. The Scrimblow wordings. They're all just names for our Scrimblow techs. Scrimblow coin, if you will. Do music for Raid Shadow Legends? I would, you know what? I would take that too. I, I, maybe, I don't know. Would I? <laughs> would I? I just said that, but would I? I don't know. How you doing, Carly? Welcome to the big finale. Hope you're doing well. I, uh, I've killed... So there's been enemies that have, like, represented all my streamer friends in this game so far, Carly. So I've killed all my streamer friends. Which, I mean, I should be making a YouTuber apology video about that. Or a Twitch apology stream. Commencing apology video. I don't know if this is just like old times anymore, Dunban. This is some shit that transcends old times for you. But you know what? I'm gonna let you have it. I thought this was the corpse of a small, like, lizard. Or like a big lizard, sorry. It's just a piece of a statue. I'm not fighting that, dude. He's not worth my time. He's not worth my time. Except I think I have to kill him to move on. So, <laughs> let's go. Avi, Noma, Luna, Indy, Sanj, DJ, myself. Um, technically, Ima, if you want to connect, if you want to count like the monkeys, because Ima, it's his favorite fruit's a banana, and monkeys love the bananas. Have you killed a Carly yet? I don't think so. What what animal represents you, Carly? Spare the rest of us, please. No. Nah, you're scared. You're spared. You're spared, chat. I almost said you're scared, but we're saving that for next week. 
for spooky month, if you will. Ima has a crow sona, so you probably killed him. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, that tracks. Have you killed a ghost yet? No. We'll go with this. But you know what I have killed? Boredom. Because I'm having so much fun. Mmm! You kill the robot dog thing because if so, I might be dead. Never. You're gonna. You're gonna hate me for this. And everyone's gonna hate me for this. Actually, I read that so wrong. I read a raw dog thing. Also, I don't think I needed to kill that thing. Oh well. And I was like, what do you mean by that? Robot dog thing. She said robot dog thing. Chat. Not. 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 Not what I said. <laughs> not what I said. <laughs> oh. Thank God there's no literal window bosses. <laughs> Imagine. Is there an RPG where you fight a window? I know there's one where you fight like a wall. Actually, there's a few where you fight a living wall. God, this song is so good, though. This song slaps. <laughs> Nameless Sentinel? That's a pretty good one. Oh, yeah, that, I guess that would represent you, huh? You haven't fought any cubes, have you? Only spheres. No, no, no cubes. Unless chat wants to correct me. Crater Nebula. Cold, I guess you. Hmm. You can fight houses in Final Fantasy. Does that count? God, I guess so. I forgot about the hell houses. Inferno Heinrich. <laughs> me, when I'm literally Inferno Heinrich right now. Oh shit, this just opens. Alright, screw them. Ooh. Oh, that's where we started. Progression again. Not Heinrich. <laughs> Not Heinrich. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The key change? Hello? <laughs> what, wait, what, what just opened? Chat? I think I looked in the wrong direction. <gasps> what just opened? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I, I don't I don't know where to I don't know I don't know where to go. Oh. Um. Uh my third eye. What's your third eye saying? What is it what is it perceiving? Down? Dwan for sure? Alright, I'm going Dwan. I'm gonna go i I'm gonna go down the cool way. With my knees! Oh there's water. I like how the song actually has an ending. That's actually pretty strange for a Xenoblade song. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah the map is literally telling. Okay. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. I know there's like a secret up here, but like, is the. Can I make that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Okay, yeah, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. It ended with your jump. It was so epic and dramatic. It kind of was. It also sounded like the ending of like a smash, like a main theme, like a. A main Smash Brothers team. There we go. Christ. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> and now what? Haha, <laughs> and then what, chat? Is it back up this way? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Thank you, map. Thank you for the recalculation. Goddamn GPS. Shulk's poor knees. No wonder he runs like this. His britches are just ruined as well, probably. Boom. Burp, burp, burp. Pathing is not Monolith Strong Suit, which is hilarious because, like, their world building and everything else is so good and, like, the architecture. But then when it comes to, like, actually guiding you on a map, they're like, I don't, they're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, three, yeah, it, it's really good in three. In fact, it's, it's kind of amazing in three what they did. They've done some stuff that are better than other open world games in my eyes. But yeah. No, don't ruin the music, Obart, Obart. Obob. Who do you think sat at the big table here? Might have, you know what? It might have been Obart. Or maybe it was o Obelisk the Tormentor. Wish unfinished battle loop. Same here. Underrated ass song. Don't make fun of his bra Crash Bandicoot run. Oh god, it is kind of Crash Bandicoot -y, isn't it? <laughs> Oh my god. Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> yes! 
<laughs> oh, have you played that game? No, I'm actually not a Crash fan, which is probably going to disappoint some people. <laughs> I actually tried playing that game and I'm like, I don't like this. I don't know why. I don't know why, because platformers are like huge for me. But for some reason, oh my god. Wait, he's back? What do you mean? What, you want revenge? You're a different Ob, aren't you? Master, Master Obart! Master Obart! Oh shit, that was the small guy. Yeah, he's only the small guy. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Let's see what you got then. Oh, he's got spike damage. Oh, he's shit. Let me stop him. It's fine. It's fine. The big, it's Biggie Cheese himself. All right. This is no worries. Master Uwe. I think this is Master who Master Uwe uh, warned us about when he went monkey. Obart Prime. President Obart Ma. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. See, I know. I know about America. Oh, God. Wait, hang on. Hold up. Well, how, how, what happened? How did you die? Alright. We're good. We're good. I know about America sometimes. This is where all those stolen obes went. He has all the obes. Did you hear, did you hear him say peekaboo? He went peekaboo. I love Ricky so much. Oh, burn the water strike! We choose to fight! Or oh, against the laws, we choose to fight! This, this forge is not coming through. This forge is not coming through. I'm in the middle of killing him right now. Look at this. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You really thought, huh? You really thought. What future was I being warned of? By the way, chat, once again, once again, chat, Shulk is seeing visions. He has no Monado with him. He doesn't have the actual Monado with him, just a replica. Uh, how is that happening? Obviously, that's a question for those who haven't played, but uh, well, what's, what's going on there? Yeah, the floor pushing us was really funny. He is the Monado. Interesting. Interesting. He's got really good eyesight. Okay. Uh-huh. Something, something. It's his heart. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Newgate Laia. Because he's really feeling it, obviously. It's funny because, I mean, you're right. You're not wrong. Oh, the song's about to end again. Dude, that's a real Smash Brothers ending. Press start. To ruin your friendships. Mirror, 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 mirror. Mirror, mirror, mirror. He activated his Bankai or whatever. Damn, way to take my joke, QB. That didn't. And it, you know what? It didn't even. It, I, I, Bleach took it from me, QB. Alright? That is my patented joke, and you now owe me $7 million. Alright? He's got the Panado from Xenoblade X. God, I forgot about the Nopon Monado. Which, by the way, is not... A, don't worry, that's not a lore thing. But it's really funny that it is actually a thing in X, and it's really funny. What kind of Bowser world are we in? Now that I really look at it, this looks like just Bowser's, like, Lava Land or whatever in 64. If we look over there, we're probably going to see, like, some floating platform toppling and Mario just going... So long, gay Bowser! And then we see Mario fall and die, because of course he does. We're inside the Bionis occipital lobe, I think. That would make sense. It would. Which is really interesting that we're actually inside this thing's brain. Um, I wonder what that might lead to. Being in the thinking center. What could that lead to? Of one of the oldest things in existence. I wonder. There's a heart-to-heart -heart around here where Melia tells Sharla how she's moved on from liking Shulk and just accepted his relationship with Fiora. Pain. Oh god, I remember that! Oh, <laughs> uh, Well, at least she's moved on. Th that's actually a better thing than hanging on, so never mind. Good for her. Good for her. Still sad, but good for her. Bowser is Zanza. Oh my god. You just spoiled the game. That was actually the one right theory. God damn it. <laughs> Corridor of Silence. Not with me around. I'm gonna go. Oh wait, we're actually. Oh my God, isn't is this not right at the end? Oh Where shit. Where are we? 
We're almost what done. What is this place? Oh, <laughs> wait. It no. looks like a cathedral. This is too soon. There's an altar over there. These have scary faces. <laughs> that was a good mm. voice. We better take a look. This is actually really close to the end. Whoops. Mm. Our tower can use with me to celebrate. You see something, Shulk? This indentation. It looks like something should fit inside it. Oh, never mind. We still have to get the thing that fits yep. inside. Ricky, feel like something here. Never mind. It's probably a way up to the top. Could it really be that easy? There's no use thinking about it. Let's search for whatever fits into the gap. Shove Ricky in there. <laughs> oh my god. It is really funny that he uh that he drops his voice a whole octave when he's scared, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if he was terrified, he'd be like Ricky is terror. He just becomes Riku, actually, from Xenoblade 3. Holy shit, Chad is going to love Riku. When we play that game, no one even say anything about that no pun. Just know that there is a playable, like, no pawn in every mainline Xenoblade game. And the one in three is fantastic. He, he is something else. Is Xenoblade 3 the newest one? Yep. And then the DLC that came out for it pretty much, like, ended off the whole trilogy. Um, but yeah, three, three is the newest one, and it slaps. It slaps. And you could start it on its own, but I do actually recommend you have knowledge of at least this game and two before you play that game. Oh, hello. Who, um, who are you? Who's chasing me? I can't get his name. Don't let me target him. Masterful Gigapur? Someone in chat is going to say this is me because it says Gigapur. I've seen some interesting things about this game. Have you? Have you? Ice emoji. Oh, yeah. I say that like I don't know. Yeah, indeed you have. I have been streaming it, that's true, my dumbass. Whoops. This might not work out, chat. We're being targeted by a lot of lads. We found you. Oh, there it is. Poor easily worse no pawn. Y'all can't be saying that when Tatsu exists. Now, he might not be a playable one, but he still exists. I would pick Tora any day over Tatsu. <laughs> I'll, never, I'll also never forget when uh, Nintendo Treehouse just like only like half cared about that game when they were localizing it and the names weren't even final until last minute. I remember during like presentations of that game, they called him Tots, which kind of worked because he's like a tater tot, but like, <laughs> god damn. I'll, I won't forget. I won't forget that they called him Tots. <laughs> I'm doing good, Kitsune. Welcome in. Oh, oh. Okay, we can do this. We can beat Gigapur. We got this. I assume playable. Oh, no, no. Don't worry. I had a feeling you did. That's why I had to mention the whole not playable. Because I'm like, if we... If we're, if we had... That's my way of bumping Tora up a little bit. <laughs> I do like Tora. But yeah, he's definitely like the worst of the three. Absolutely. You're a no pawn now. Do you go into debt or fight and end up in debt? I'll fight and end up in debt. Because at least I know I fought. But I'll also have 11 kids, I guess. I don't know. Seems like that's just a normal thing. At least for Ricky. At least for Ricky. It, I don't know if that's a normal thing for the other Nopon, but for Ricky, that is... It, that, that is... Wow. Or sell drugs and end up in debt. True, that does happen. There, there are Nopon who do that. This is not a bit. I, I keep talking about the Nopon drug trade. That is actually a real thing still. I, 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 that was never a lie. To those wondering... <laughs> I haven't played FC at the Judge Kino and Nene. Kino and Nene are absolutely fantastic. Top tier characters. Kino was Kino, at like, for lack of a better word, and Nene is just great. Nene is literally Rhine Mini. She even has she even has Rhine's moves, but they have slightly different names, like their bootlegs, and it's really cute. Just a tiny no pawn Rhine. Um, Laya Intestine. Okay, cool. Great. Lovely. Love having that. Thank you. Cool. They take after Ryan and Charlotte. Yeah, they do. They sure do. I thought Ricky had 9,999 9 health. Does he not? 
Oh, what the hell? Oh, maybe I changed his equipment, maybe. Ah, uh, shit. Hang on one second. There we go. There we go. Gore? 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 Gorsh, Mick. Gorsh. Thanks for letting me know. I totally didn't even realize that. Not that it matters. I don't need to have him with the 9999, but it looks cooler, doesn't it? We have to have You know what? We have to have it. It's mandatory now. All right. Surely this will not lead anywhere dangerous. A bell. Does Torna have a main party Nopon? No. I don't think so. I don't... No, 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 I don't think so. That's a nice bell. It kind of sounds like Majora's Mask. I mean, it sounds like a bell. Okay, this enemy chat. This enemy is the reason you need to have spike defense gems. <laughs> what is this, Dark Souls? Yep. It even it even it even summoned the dragon, which isn't a gargoyle, but close enough, right? I mean, you have to fight what the gaping dragon or whatever to even ring a bell, right? I think. So close enough, maybe. I think we just teleport back there, actually. Um, but yeah, this is this is the main reason I crafted spike defense gems and did the to you, to me, like last stream. Literally for this enemy. A lot of Xenoblade VAs share with soul characters. Yep, Mio, one of the main characters from Xenoblade Three, is just Rani from uh, Elden Ring. And yeah, there's a bunch. In fact, there was a whole thread on this because someone was complaining about the VAs of Xenoblade again. And then being like, if it was more like souls, and then people were like, how do we tell him that like half of these people are in souls? <laughs> it's fun. I, I love Xenoblade discourse. Happens literally every day. It's wild. They should I like, I don't know, play the game. <laughs> but you know what? I told myself I'm not gonna talk about it today. So instead, look at the bathroom tiles. We're about to take a big shit, and it's this thing. Which by the way, it looks sick. Dragon King Alcar. Anyways. Does Xenoblade have Margit Geppetto? Is Margit goddamn Geppetto? Right. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Time to purge. That's so funny. Ah, oh, shit. Already with a vision? I'm, I'm already purging you. What are you gonna do? Uh-oh. That can't be good. Ah, he'll live. Oh my god, he face plants! He just, he just turned dumbbell. Oh, right. You can't spike this dragon, can you? Or you can't, you can't, you can't purge this dragon. Oh shit. I think, I think he keeps, yeah, he keeps spike damage. Unless we like topple him or some shit. Oh, wrong attack. I was supposed to shield. All right. Well, there, there goes that. God, he's the, he's the king of all cars. Oh, all, oh, I get it. All cars. Well, this is gonna be rough. Well, we still have spike defense though. So spike defense will help us. Uh, possibly. Oh, heal the wrong guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> how, how terrifying this is. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Please, please, okay. Yeah, bite him. Bite the big dragon, Ricky. Bite the big dragon. I'll keep trying to inflict break on him. Acting like he's not immune. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, it's cringe. It's cringe. Chad, it's very cringe. It's fine. We can do this. This is fine. We always make our comebacks. Come quacks. Do your best, Shay. <laughs> no stutters. I got this. I got this. Oh god. Wait, no, my boys. My boys. <laughs> Ricky was like so goddamn toppled. Unbelievably toppled. Oh cool. It's an AoE and chat. I can't block this one. I can't block that AoE. <laughs> or we're all gonna be set on fire and then we're gonna take fire damage. This is gonna be fun. Okay, um, uh, well, uh, at the very least, um, I mean, it says I can purge. Can I, like, what? what, what? Huh, interesting. Oh, well, here goes this. All right, it's fine, it's fine. Only one guy died. Even the game is confused. 
The game's like, no, you can do it. Smile, Kappa. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, do your no pawn special move. Nah, we're, we, we, we got this, though. We got this. Oh, God, please. Please don't let it be a purple move again. Okay. Okay. All right, Ricky is going to die in 12 seconds. A lovely line to say, but but unfortunately for him... Mm, now we get some free hits in while homie just charges up an attack. He's going to uh, get nulled. Let's go. All right, the game sounds like chat. What do you mean, like with everyone talking or something? Also, how you doing, Chris? Hope you're doing well. How was your stream today? I, at least I think you streamed today. If you did, uh, how was it? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Oh god, okay. To me. To you. I don't have mo- what, what happened to my moves? I thought they reloaded on a chain attack. Am I tripping? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Stack the reds. Stack the reds. Twas good, cozy, yet silly good times. Hell yeah. That is the vibe to shoot for. So I'm glad to hear. Yes, I inflicted break. Topple him now. Topple his ass now. Come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Please, one of you has to have the AI for this. Yes! Yes, screw you and your spike damage. Get out of here. Woo. Woo. Oh, yeah, that's right. I could have done Cyclone. Either way, that's one dead homie. All right. All right. The thing I feared is gone. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's put in his eyeball now. Long live the king. I am now the king of the cars. All right, chat. Do you have any final requests before we do this? Because this is the end game. After this, there's no saving either. So this is it. Can I have a car, please? <laughs> sure, give me the money and I'll definitely get you the car. I say while rubbing my hands evilly. One, okay. You want Ryan's shirt off for a bit? I can't make it permanent, but I can at least do this for you once. There you go. There you go. All right. Can we go to Sword Valley? You're actually not able to. You can't even go to Alchemoth, the high Entia home, because uh, they're all... Actually, wait. I think at some point you actually can. I think now I can. There's a point where you go back and they're all Telethia and they're all high level. It's a good, like, grinding spot. But yeah. To give him agility. I didn't do that skill tree for him. But, actually, I think I will do default clothes, maybe? I don't know. Okay, do you guys want to see Alchemoth? I can at least show it to you guys. So, just so we can get a little angrier at Zanza and see what he did, yeah? Here. Oh, we actually can't? Wait, what? Nope. Can't go back yet. Hmm? Why can't... Oh, we have to go back manually or something, I think. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm too lazy. Um, but we can we, we can do one final thing that I think you guys will like. And welcome in, Noma. You made it just in time for, like, the big finale. So I'm tempted to pin Mel's message. What did Mel say? Hello, I love you. Let me shove your face between your breasts. Hmm. Who's there? <laughs> It, Noma, it's because it's because Mel requested I take Ryan's shirt off one more time. That that's so that's so funny. <laughs> oh my god! All right, chat. Here you go. Yeah, one more for the road. Give me the most to me to use that you possibly can. Thank you for the pin message, by the way. All right, Th thank you, Noma, for doing that too. Are right, you guys ready? Let's go, everyone. I've got it. I'm all over that. There we go. All righty. All right. There we go. All righty. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Help you. To me. Yeah. To you. Awesome. Let to me. Help to you. To Let's me. go, chat. All Let's go, chat. Woo. Allow me to help. Say more, There we guys. go. To you. There you go. Woo. 
There we go. Come on, show. Show. Right. To me. There you go. Alrighty. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice one. Here, try this. There we go. To you. Yes. Nice one. Yes. Wow, this is absolutely mint. Great work, chat. Great work. Absolutely mint, as Ryan said. We have a level six gem. That's not even naturally possible. Okay. That's how good we did. We got a level six gem. That's genuinely insane. That's genuinely insane, chat. Genuinely. <laughs> yes, I am very funny. But we're not done yet. Let's have another agility up, yeah? Because why the hell not? Nyat. Genuinely. <laughs> Let's just stack a bunch. Yeah. Sure. One more with the same exact duo. Let's go. All right. I've got it. I'm all over that. There we, Here go. we go. To you. Awesome. There you go. To me. To you. Nice one. Mm -hmm. To me. To you. Tell me more. Woo. There we go. Woo. To you. Awesome. Here, try this. To try me. This. All righty. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Allow me to help. Thank you, Chuck. There Chad. we go. Thank all you, righty. You. All right. Let me help too. There we go. All righty. All right. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah, one. yeah. Woo. Yeah. Right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You. To me. Yo, we're going Alrighty. nuts. Awesome. To Let's me. go. To you. Let's, Let's go. go. There we go. Let's all righty. Go. Nice one. There we go. All righty. Nice one. There we go. Damn. All righty. Woo. Damn. To me. To Let you. them cook. Nice one. Yeah, it's all right, I suppose. Perfect. There. I had to get you guys in for the VOD. I had to get you guys in for the VOD. You've now made history. And now and now the YouTube watchers one day when this goes up will have context. Uh towards the the to, to me to you emotes. You had to be here. You had to be here. Alright. Alright, everyone. Craftacular! Sorry, that's just too funny. I had to take it. I didn't even know that was a thing. What the hell? Uh, oh, you know, for a second I thought this was... What's her name? From 3? I, I mean, like, she had brown hair, but what's her name from 3? I thought it was her, and I, like, I had PTSD for a minute. Alright, I'm good. Shania. I thought it was Shania for a minute. Alright. We're out. Actually, one last thing. Uh, we're in let, 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 let's visit Dunban's house for a little bit. They don't have the affinity for that. But look, it's Dunban's house, everyone. Dunban and Fiora. It's the last time we're gonna see it. Smile. O okay. Is this how you climb the stairs in your own house, Dunban? Alright, bud. Thank you. Where's Ricky, by the way? Is he dead? Did you put him in the cooking pot? Where is he? What, what happened? Ricky? What? No, actually, though, where's Ricky? W what happened? Um. Uh. Hello? Oh. Okay, he, he. Ricky, wait outside, I guess. Alright, cool. Let's do this shit, shall we? Okay. Um. I will have a few words as well, but hang on. Let me just try to remember where, uh, where exactly we were supposed to be. I don't remember what floor it was. Not that. Shit, chat. Oh, no, it's here. It's here. Corridor of Silence. All right. Oh, you're right. Okay, I'm going to have them up for one fight, chat, and then I'm going to take them back off. But for one fight, you get, of course. All right. That's enough requests now. But that, that one was a solid one. That one had to happen. Okay. Squiggles and squuggles for the finale. Only one fight. Because they can be kind of distracting for me as well. But I love them. Let's do this shit. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to say anything yet. But there is one thing I want to say before we get to the end then. But first of all, just to stall because this is the end and, and this, this may be a shorter stream. Uh, I want to thank you all for real for being part of this whole uh, thing. I know this, play, this playthrough was a super chill one. I really wanted to do this. Thank you all for being so respectful and awesome and not, you know, just... Just thank you all for enjoying this and being cool. Even if there's something you weren't exactly into from the start, but eventually you got into it or you gave it a chance. All of that I really appreciate. Thank you for ex uh, experiencing one of my favorite games and my favorite story ever with me. Uh, I really do love you guys. So uh, this has been a lovely set of nights. All right. Let's do it. I can sense Dixon. We must be near the top. If we proceed from here... We will be unable to return. 
Are you ready to go? Yes, on? Dunban is the is the point of no return dialogue box. Alright. Alright. Okay, wait. Actually, do you guys want the default outfits? I was thinking I was thinking we actually go like this at the for the end, but would you guys prefer default outfits? Yes? Okay. Alright. Did you save? Doesn't no, matter. I'm gonna make I need it. More Trust time. me. Also, I, I did save, so. We'll Alright, hang on. Fine, I'll do default outfits. Here we go. Um, ba 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 ba. All right, Ekru. Actually, it's not Ekru. It's not Ekru. That's naked. That's naked. It's Colony Type One. There we are. I don't think Shulk naturally has the goggles from the start. I can't remember. Nice pants, homie. Nice lack thereof, homie. But I kind of like his goggles. I gave him an Ekru type. Interesting. Oh wait, never mind. Ek Ekru. Ekru is for face. Uh, okay, I see. Default outfit is cute. His default outfit's sick. Whoop, wrong one. It's, everyone's gonna go, no, Shady. That's the right one. Alright. What, what the hell? There we go. That's the fit. Alright. I think I might let him keep the goggles, chat. Okay, Ricky. I don't think we even... I don't... Do we really need to make Ricky wear less? Ricky's basically naked, chat. <laughs> Ricky... Ricky's basically naked. I don't even know what part of this is, like, is doing that. Is it gloves? It's the gloves. Yeah, there you go. Ricky's fine. Yeah, Ricky's fine. The message represents, uh, I don't know, just win. I will, Sakurin. I will. And you will cry tears. I mean, it's better than crying anything else, I guess. Uh, but thank you so much for the $3 donation, Sakurin. I really appreciate the good luck, and I will absolutely do the thing. Tonight is the night. For doing the thing. So just you watch. Okay. Alright. Alright. Let's see here. Okay. Ryan now. It's Ryan time. As we do be saying around here. This is the final Ryan time. It's kind of sad actually. I'm going to miss this. That is not your clothing, homie. What? It, what? What is that? What are these? Middle type. Oh, that's right. That's right. He's not a colony type. There we go. What were those? What were those purple ass grimaced underwear? What was that, Ryan? What are you rocking there, homie? And Melia, whose fit is very cute right now, by the way. But alas, we need to colony type it up. Boom. All right. Everyone's good to go. All right. Okay. And we can save with these clothes. Why not? All right. That is the final request for, for real now. But that one would also count because I, I think I was planning on doing this. So let's do it. Melia does have a hat. Oh, did I not give her? Oh, right. I put her on the naked thing. Hang on one sec. God damn it. My bad. It's this one. There it is. There's the fit. Very cute. Okay, let's go. No more. I have a request. Can you win? Absolutely. I can send. If we press. Chad, I want to try something. So, hang on. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm stalling again. I'm sorry, but I have to try something. I, I, I know. But just give me a sec. I can sense Dixon. We must be near the top. I can sense Dixon. <laughs> If we proceed from here, we will be unable to return. Are you ready to go on? <laughs> you guys get one more laugh. You get. You guys get one more funny out of me. Let's go. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, man. Aren't you scared? I would be lying if I said no. But still, we must go on. Agreed. We know what we're fighting for. We decided ages ago. <laughs> Dunban? Ricky's got the wrong clothes on. Oh, sorry. I just got caught up in the moment. Hmm. Come on, Dunban. Right. I'm glad let's he go. has I'm glad he has time to seize our destiny. I'm glad he has actual good friends now who won't like betray him and become the disciple of a god or someone who murders his sister. My god. I'm sure he's happy about that.
The soup, huh, Pixel? Thank you for the sub, by the way. Screw soup. I forgot this was happening outside. <laughs> I forgot it was really bad outside. Juju! We even get Juju at the end! Stop complaining. We're not the only ones fighting. Believe in Shulk and the others. We will defend this place until they get back. That's the plan, so stick to it. Uh, understood. Never mind, he's dead. Oh, he's really dead. I'm sorry, is that Zord's voice? It actually is. I don't know if this is actually Zord, though, but that, that is Zord's voice. And we got the hammer. That might actually be him. This is just a Zord model. Yeah, but still, sick. Either way, I'm gonna I'm just gonna make that it my head cannon now. On. They're on our side now. They used to be homes, all of them. We're working together. They may look different, but they all want the same thing as us. Xanth is such Juju, a piece of shit, he go. solved racism by right. accident. <laughs> yeah, that was literally Zord's voice. But yeah. Anyways, let's move on, shall we? Oh, sorry, sorry. Not me, move on. I'm handing the controller off to Squiggles now. Alright. I'm watching Squiggles. But no, for real, uh, prepare- Oh my god, I just realized! Uh, nothing. I just did <laughs> familiar area lately. All right. I think I might have realized it before, but yeah. Anyways, let's do it. Dixon. Kept me waiting a while, Shulk. Waiting for us to fight you. Time for this pizza. Yeah, shit. that's what it's come to. Or will you just shut up and let me kill you? We'll never do that. Just as I expected. Hmm. Wouldn't have it any other way. I've been working for Lord Zanza since the beginning. Yep. I raised you purely so he could live on. Asshole. I know. And I must thank you for granting me such power. It's all down to you that I'm standing here. Ready for you now. True, they made a big mistake. Enough talk, boy. <gasps> His scream is the funniest thing. He's loud. <laughs> but yeah, he's a giant too. Dixon! If you're so determined to stop us, he's then we will he's... kill you! Oh shit, Shulk. Okay. Yeah, he's a giant. <laughs> Finally, Disciple Dixon. All right, let's do it. Did you all think it would come down to this? One of the final bosses. Oh, can't purge him either. He's also just made a spike damage, huh? Okay. Yeah, straight up, Shulk's not even will stop you. He's just straight up like, we will, like, kill you. Gotta love it. Oh my god, his spike damage makes you depressed? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that's not good. Maybe, Maybe you should turn off your reverb, Dixon. It's located on your goddamn Go XLR. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. For real, though, I, I can't get over what he did, man. You think he'd feel a little empathy, like, after raising someone, but, like, nope. Alright. Alright. Both of them said kill. <laughs> yep. I don't even know what you're saying, Dixon, but I don't give a shit. You and your level 80 ass. The hell's treacherous anger? It ain't doing shit to me. 
Well, oh cool, big hammer. Okay, cool. Goodbye. Good job, Squiggles. This is no, I'm getting kidding. he did boring. good. You worms are no match for me. Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh shit, Fiora, let's go. Ah, I see you've inherited Maynet's power. Interesting. Not her power. Inheriting the power from a god. Huh? Mm. I've inherited her memories. That's why I fight you. Fiora. Memories, huh? And what good are those meant to be? Bruh? Can't use memories to kill anyone. Why are you fighting? Interesting theory, Mel. You're helping Zanza to create a world where nothing exists. What could you possibly hope to get out of it? Time for this song one more time. <laughs> Only those with power have the right to decide such things. You're wrong. Zanza just tells me where to fight and I fight. NPC energy. And that's how I like it. Oh, fair. Is that your reason? For fighting? It's the only reason. Yeah, so he just does it just because. That's his whole reasoning. Maynath wished for a world where the peoples of Bionis and Mechonis could live hand in hand. You will never get away with this. Is that right? Then what are you gonna do about it in that feeble body? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that body doesn't have a Bernardo anymore. Who knows how much life it's got in it? Hey! Oh, he's really digging that in too. Goodbyes. It can't be. <sighs> I'm fine. Well, the truth is out now. I'll carry on fighting beside you until the very end. Fiora! Well then, we better make this quick! <laughs> Holy What's shit, that? that is some strength. Little boy lost his Bernardo and can't do a thing without Where are you it? getting that idea? He just stopped Be you with careful. one blade? Well, you can't. It's time to learn your play. <gasps> oh shit, Melia! You <laughs> shoot him in the face. Let's go. Let's go. Point blank. Melia, stand up, Fiora. Did you not say that you wanted to be with Shulk? Do not throw your life away for this scoundrel. She's right. You have to take what you want. There's no point in dying. Oh god, now he's, you know, he's actually getting ganked. <laughs> Get him shot. Nothing. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, hello? Ryan, let's go! Shulk, show him what you're made of. Come on, man. You don't need the Monado to take down this piece of scum. True. Ah. Oh, what are you Ricky, gonna do? No. Yeah? Ricky no Shulk brave. I love Ricky. <laughs> Ricky want to see the old Shulk. <laughs> Shulk is real hero pawn. Shulk! Did he just fall real backwards? Oh power shit, what a hit! within! Believe in your own true strength! Think to Shulk! I've done Ben, how? Everyone. How? And that's his non dominant Shulk. hand. It's time, Shulk. Let's finish this. I will not fail. With your faith in me and our strength combined. Literally power of friendship, but done right. We can do this. Done so right. <laughs> sure. You ever gonna make this worth my while? Huh? Mm. 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 <laughs> that's some that's some we're gonna beat you to death Can't kind of energy. Be that power. Hmm. Yeah, what power, Dixon? Are you realizing some mistakes y'all might have made? With Choke and Fiora? Yeah, no, maybe. Let's get his ass! Let's get his ass! This is the one. This is the one. Piss off. Piss off. Alright. Alright. I'm letting this one I'm letting this one go. Get him, Squiggles. <laughs> get him, Squiggles. Please don't interrupt the music when I when I when I change this future. Uh, 
Please don't interrupt the music when I change this feature. Damn it! Why? Zeno played every every goddamn game with you. Every goddamn game with you. Why do you do this? Why do you do this? <laughs> Just you wait till Xenoblade 3, it's even worse. It's fine. It's fine. So I'll tell you what. There's a point where it doesn't happen. And it's coming up. Either way, we're still gonna get his ass. Thank you so much for the raid. I very much appreciate it. Welcome on in. Quick warning. This is the ending of Xenoblade. So if no one wants spoilers for that, please be aware of that. Um, but if you're all good to, you know, go. Uh, welcome, on, welcome on in. Hope you're all doing very well. And thank you, Princess Oyun. I, I hope that's how I pronounce it. Um, welcome back in as well. Good to see you. Good to see you. I hope you had a lovely, lovely stream. What are you up to if you don't mind me asking? Okay. Okay. We got his ass. We're gonna get his ass. Slowly working in. Slowly working in. And thank you for the shout out, by the way. Thank you for shouting them out. Um, I really appreciate that. Uh, how long has Squiggles been in the corner? Oh, you know, he's been around. Just murdered Ganon in cold blood. Oh, hell yeah. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats. Um, are we talking Tears of the Kingdom or, or a different Zelda? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, where's my speed? Oh, oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. There we go. Oh, man. Okay. Cry no, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's, um, I, I cried at the end of Tears of the Kingdom. That is the only game I've ever cried to as well. It wasn't like sob, but like there were tears coming out of my eyes. And I was like, this, this is a great ending. Oh my god. You know, without spoiling, of course. So, um, you know, you can deny it, but I also wouldn't, I also wouldn't judge if you did. You didn't try to, I, I'm, I'm very, like, I'm very, uh, like, low emotions. I, I mean that, like, I'm, it's not even like a flex, but, like, I, uh, media, I've never cried over media. Or, like, any, like, any stories or anything. I, I, I always want to. For some reason, like, the end of, like, the Zelda, Zelda game did it for me. Or, end of, sorry, Tears of the Kingdom. Um, but I, I will say that all of these games get me pretty close. And tonight I might even tear up, like, during this. For no reason or anything, but I might end up tearing up at the end of this. I think, I, I, I think I've been getting a lot more, like, empathetic recently. Just try to navigate FF14 menus, you'll cry. I feel like that's crying for the wrong reason. <laughs> cry? No. No. That chain, that chain was going pretty good, wasn't it? It was going pretty good. So, it, it, is it fine to call you Soy for shirt then? For short, for shirt, for short then, Princess uh, Soy. Is it Soy E on them? I guess it's pronounced like that. What's gonna happen at the end that'll make you cry? You'll see. Peach story. So young. So young. Okay, 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 okay. Gotcha. That's it. I feel like you've told me and I forgot. I'm, I apologize if that's so. Princess Soya. Okay. Princess Soya. Everyone calls me Soy though. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Well, you have go to taste in games if you're playing some Zelda. So um, y'all should go. Y'all should go follow them, chat. Because I know you're a bunch of Zelda fans. Right, here we go. We did it. By the way, beat his ass. I'm sorry. What powers do you got there, Fiora? <laughs> Don't, Dixon's screams are so funny. <laughs> How is it possible without the Monado? Good job, Squiggles. Face me. Stand and fight. Good eye, that is Still yeah, the red light. Still got some fight in here, then. I'm done. You sliced him through the chest. I'm going home. Oh, okay. Dixon. I just wanted the power of a god. This martyr stuff's not for me. Oh, okay. Go. Uh, all right. I ain't gonna risk my life to stop ya. Get back here! You expect us to let you go? What? Enough. It's Sansa we're after. Not him. Uh, okay. Okay, chat. And I hate to pause right here. But I just wanna- I just wanna put- okay. 
no from here on out no one tease anything in the plot no random tease no random smile emojis nothing try your best to keep this as blind as possible and i want to remind you of one last thing okay the world of xenoblade is an endless universe or sorry it's a universe where it's just an endless sea and two titans and that's all of the life on there that's it that is the universe of xenoblade remember that okay just remember that I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been really phoning that in or like, or like, or like really digging that into you guys this entire playthrough. Just, just keep that in mind. You never played this? Oh, it is my favorite video game story ever. And it's my favorite game next to Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's, oh, I love this series so much. I love it so much. How that kid gets so strong. Ah, oh, your mistake, Dixon. I ain't gonna let you see me die. I won't give you the satisfaction of victory. See ya, kid. Looks like the student finally surpassed the teacher. Shulk, his wounds. Yeah, he's he's gonna die. I don't feel too bad, chat. Oh, he died like Big Boss style. He did go out like a Chad, but like... It's gotta hurt for Shulk. Because that still was a father figure for him. It's just that homie didn't see him like that. Oh, and, 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 and thank you. Thank you, Noma. All right. Well, here we go. Oh, 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 by the way, here, Noma, it's your husband. It's your husband. Oh, God, the Telethia, right? Hmm. Hey, that didn't happen. What, what is that all about? Oh, he can't see the Why? future. Why, Why can, can I not, I not see, see any further? His future cuts off there. Weird. Now that I possess both Monados, I should be at one with the passage of fate. Why does the vision end here? Hmm. <laughs> so Dixon has passed. Do you guys know anything Laura weird already? Too. Are you noticing anything weird yet? No? How can All right. this be? Give it a bit. Are Telethia growing weak? How could they be defeated by such worthless mortals? I don't know, Zanza. This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. Oh, hey, wow, it's my stream title. A world that has no need for gods. <laughs> there is no world without a god. This world belongs to me! Okay, asshole. All right, are you ready for one of the biggest twists in the entire series? And it's not even the final one? Okay. Okay. What's that over there, chat? <laughs> Where are we? What happened? It's nighttime. Is Ricky have bad dream? <laughs> Good voice. Look down. Look at all the stars. We're not on Bionis anymore. There's no land or sea either. Hmm. And that's not just any planet, is it, Chad? What do you mean, landmark Saturn? Hmm? <laughs> Remember, the universe is just an endless ocean in Xenoblade. This shouldn't exist. This, our solar system should not exist in this little fantasy game. So why, <laughs> why is Saturn here? <laughs> why, 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 why is Saturn here? There was not even like, there was a small teaser. Because you saw this when Shulk was talking to Albus and stuff, but we were we were gonna also there's spirit enemies. There's like Mumkar here for some reason, but uh, whatever. Screw Mumkar, I'll kill him again. I don't care. Why not? What? Why? <laughs> Just wait. Just wait and see. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But um, yeah, yeah. Planets in our solar system is pretty wild and pretty uh pretty close to home literally 
when this should be a high fantasy game is that Dialga. <laughs> nah, Dialga's actually cool. This is a piece of shit. This is the dude who murdered Fiora. <laughs> also, this song is like... There's some parts in this song that get very like Zelda out of nowhere. But I'm probably gonna beat him before it even gets to that point. Like old, like old Zelda, but yeah. How did they get here, though? I think the I think the other question too is why does this exist in High Fantasy, though? Like if it's a fantasy game where it just takes place in this random universe with two titans and stuff, why actually is there our solar system here? So yeah, how did they get here, and also why is this here? Also, is any of this real? <laughs> Is our place the afterlife? That's a good theory. I like that one too. I like that one. That's actually a really good one. Oh, hey, look. Hmm. Interesting. We're going through the, uh, we're going through the solar system. Inter mm, mm, mm. Very weird. Very weird. Hey, look, it's Zord. <laughs> we all like Zord, right? That comet is pretty. Yeah, I also like how you can actually see, like, the, like, the gases moving on the planet as well like the atmosphere it's so cool this shit's running on nintendo switch <laughs> how what do you mean feels like a fly bit me i wish we could hear him talk one more time which i mean we technically did today but still you know what i mean zord impact cool when's my where's my five star uh pull <laughs> trouble beating a spirit <laughs> A red window comes up. Gotta love the view of the storm the size of Earth. You know what's even funnier? I'm pretty sure that storm is the size of like three Earths or some shit like that. <laughs> that storm is way, way bigger than we think. Or some, sh or not, th not than we think, but like something else. Oh, that is a nice meteor. What the hell? I didn't know what you guys were talking about until I, until just now. That is really pretty. It's just one Earth. Is it actually just one Earth? I thought it was supposed to be like three. Oh, oh well. Yeah, Miko looks different these days. Looking a lot less wifey. <laughs> ah, shit. A Telethia? Just straight up? Ooh. Now that looks freaky. Look at that. Like, the whole... Like, the dark side of it just looks so, like... Oh, I love this shit. Oh, I love space so much. Uh, anyways, uh, we're kind of getting close to a certain planet. I don't know, chat. I don't know if anyone kind of kind of got that, you know go in their head yet oh, oh, oh hey when when is that gonna happen we're getting kind of close to it all right spirit telethia just straight up a telethia okay sorry i forgot the order of the planets <laughs> mars is really close to us Mel. mars is pretty damn close to us in terms of the of solar system distances but the thing is us isn't xenoblade we don't live on two titans Mars is the one that's close to Earth. Yeah. Man. Also, you can hear... You can actually hear Zanza's theme in the back again. But anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> Moon. Hmm. Oh, hey. What's that over there? <laughs> What's, 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 um, what's that over there, everyone? Oh, interesting. I thought it was an endless sea. I thought we are on an endless ocean. Gaddle? You're going to put Gaddle on us? That's cold. That's cold, Zanza. <laughs> kind of messed up of you to be doing this one. You know what? Roll chain attack, why not? Roll chain attack, Gettle. Put him out of his misery. The spirit. Okay, alright, we're good. We're good. See ya. 109,000 lads. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Gettle. Let's go see what that planet over there is all about. Also, plan oh, also, once again, planets don't, once again, planets don't exist. Planets don't exist in the world of Xenoblade 1. 
The fact that we're even seeing these is wild. But anyways. Maybe they have something to say about it. It's beautiful. Is that a ball of water? Hmm. So, you finally made it, Shulk. Oh yeah! <gasps> Y'all forget about Elvis? It's you. What's his deal? What is it, Shulk? I cannot wait to see which path you choose. I'll tell you this, it's not a dream. Let us meet again after you have made your choice. Ish. What is uh. that flash from Earth? That was weird. Also, well, I, I won't say more yet because we're we're getting to the... Yeah, we're, we're here now. Welcome, Shulk. Got the bionic that voice. horn. It's Zanza. Yeah, that sure is Zanza. But he looks different. I had, I had planned, planned to use, use the body, body obtained from Shulk, Shulk as, as a, a vessel, vessel in which to dwell for the next millennium. millennium. However, I came to possess a great and unexpected power. Maynith's Monado. Correct. In addition to my own Monado, which you kept safe for me, I was also able to obtain a second weapon which holds the power of creation. Oh, I hate this man. Now I possess all I desire. There is no longer any need for the life of Bionis. I must thank you indeed, Shulk. You were of more use to me than any of my disciples. Now that I have the Monados, I can forgive you your betrayal. Ha! You gonna give him a reward? <laughs> Precisely. Oh. I will have him serve as oh. my new disciple. Yeah, take it, Chulk. Don't take it. Screw this man. You will Screw be granted man. eternal life and unimaginable strength. Turn the piss off. Death will be but a fleeting afterthought. Are you so arrogant to believe that the High Entia... No. Tell his ass off. All life on Bionis are nothing but your playthings. Tell his ass off. Playthings? Yes. You don't know how it feels to have slain my brethren after they had transformed into Telethia. What are you talking about? A Telethia is a High Entia's true form. I did not transform them. I returned them. The Telethia are mere cells from my body. I conferred intelligence upon them on a mistaken whim. Yep. Creating a primitive life form, the High Entia. Just, just a mutation. They enjoyed a brief existence as sentient beings. For that, they should be grateful. Asshole. Huh. Asshole. So this is the arrogance of a creator. As I planned, the life of Bionis existed simply to serve as my vessels and my food. Bionis is nothing more than an accumulation of their corpses and life energy. But though you feign omnipotence, the High Entia still can find you to Prison Island. True. That is True. how limited you are. Oh, can you find me? I was merely resting there for a while. Yeah, but also this. God damn it. I was wounded in the battle with Maynard's vessel. I simply awaited the day when a new vessel revealed to me in a vision, would be born. Until... I was born. Precisely. I intended to inhabit your body, and once again do battle with Maynith. However, I had no idea that I would defeat her so easily. Maynith. Oh my god. You did a great deed in granting me a new Monado. I will gladly take you as my new disciple. Tell him to piss off. Tell him to Shulk. piss off. Never! I don't want to be your vessel or your disciple. I just want to live my life as a Homs in a world without you. Yeah. That is most regrettable. All right, here we go, banger. You could have entrusted all to me and attained it's peace. It's time for a banger. But perhaps the vision of mortals will ever I'll remain up, Jeff. We'll get him. We'll get limited. Him. Using one's power to change the world. Yeah, here comes that the is a right possessed only by gods. 
Is that why you laid waste to Maconis? Of course. Along with the beings called Machina, who followed Mayneth. Mm. They had evolved and become insolent under her protection. This guy's so deluded, holy shit. So you're saying us Homs are next in line, eh? You are correct. You yourselves have proven that Homs are a dangerous species. Okay, Frieza. How unfortunate. Okay, Frieza. I had a desire for friendship. Who gives a shit? This but is not how you go about it. Granting intelligence to the lives I created was a mistake. This is not how you make friends, idiot. A god should not long for friendship. Oh my god. You're wrong! Maynard chose to exist Maynard alongside us. Maynard was friend of all of her people. <laughs> she grew to consider us her friends. Yeah. You should have accepted that. But what you were hoping for was not friendship. You wanted worthless slaves. Our lives as food. Just as I suspected, it appears that I was mistaken to grant free will. Oh my god. However, all will soon be over. Yes, it will. The Telethia will exterminate all life on Bionis. I will then create a new world. Just as I have done yeah. many times before. So he, he's genocided all of his home before. Like, he, like, we cannot. He's genocided all life before we many will times. stop you! This is just another loop for him. But we're not we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna let it happen, right? Let's do it. I we shall go. wipe you from Level this world question and bring Let's go. All this demise. Let's go. We need some guardians. He's already got guardians. Oh shit. Let's focus our efforts. All right, all right, fine. Persona ass ads. Let's go. Thank you, God. This song slaps. Do you think like one of his previous ventures? Ooh, that's a fun theory. That is a fun theory. I'll tell you this, you're gonna get all the answers to all to all the questions you guys have at the end of this game. Probably. Maybe. I I, I do like that theory though. Okay. Alright, take this fool out. You cannot stand. Ricky and Dunn better just going nuts on Zanza right now. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna let them do it. Actually no, no. Focus on this homie first. He'll he'll done ban a little bit. God, this song goes hard. Oh, not looking good. We're gonna, we're gonna have to chain the Guardian. I don't want to risk it. You can work it probably, maybe. Let's go. Don't worry. You'll get your full answer. And it's gonna be hype. Mmm. Mmm. Alright. Out of the way. Out of the goddamn way. You made a mistake making a little fluff ball that can bite you. Oh, and he. Oh, wait. Dumban's dead. <laughs> Good. Up we go, bud. We have to kill God. Alright. Good, 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 good. Ah, damn it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Yeah, I'm glad the music in it isn't interrupted here. It's such a banger. Oh my god. <laughs> what is he even doing? He can't do shit. Oh wait, he never mind. He made dumb band the press. Oh? Oh? Monado left. I can't block that. But so here's the thing, chat. You might have noticed. If I time my B presses, I can still see visions. I can still see what the what God himself is going to do, which is kind of crazy. But it's only if I time that B press right. It makes you wonder how uh, how Shulk is able to do any of that still. Above God, how is he able to do that? <laughs> there can only really be like two explanations. Even kind of just one. But we'll see. We'll see. See, even he's like, how can you read it? Is Shulk God? I don't know. I wonder. No. You mere vessels dare to oppose the will of a god. Then I shall obliterate everything with my unimaginable power. What are we cooking now, Sansa? Oh my Christ. I forgot. Jesus. Yeah, this song slaps. Oh Behold my God. The true form of a united world. He's literally both of the Titans. <laughs> Oh my god. 
the biggest Obar? Yeah. Only the divine All right. may shape the Oh, we leveled up. Let's go. Ah. Now that's a, yeah, that's a JRPG final boss. <laughs> that's some like Sephiroth looking shit. Oh god. You know, you know it's crazy when like the character's like lacking legs now. Whoa, world reconstruct. Okay, nope. Eat shit. Eat shit, asshole. Eat shit. I will confiscate his orbs. Oh god, wait, no. Oh god. Oh Jesus. That took homie out. We're good, we're good. My boy heal. Alright. Where are you running to? Where are you running to? Okay. Let me time this. Alright. What's he gonna do? Titan Bazooka 8. I can block that, but holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Let's go. Let's go. My future over yours, asshole. How is he doing it, though? How is Shulk doing it? Alright. Nope. Canceling that attack. Doesn't matter. One, two. Come on, continue the chain. Let's go. Another one. Yeah. Decent. Decent. The future definitely does not belong to him. Not anymore, at least. But we made a very big mistake. I wonder if you guys have realized this big mistake. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. I love how the background's, like, dynamic with the fight. Woo. Okay. Okay. We're, 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 we're whittling them down. What mistake? <laughs> what mistake? Mm. Alright, we'll think about it. Think about it. By possessing Shulk, what did he do? Ah, shit. Oh, I failed the future vision! Oh, I don't know what's coming now. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's fine. We can, we can negate this still. By inhabiting Shulk and letting Shulk see the future and do all these crazy things. And Shulk adapting to that. What, 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 did, he, what did he accidentally do? Alright. Mm. His mistake was fighting Ryan. Also a good point. Also a good point. Gave him power. Not necessarily power, but more so like... Hmm, how about I'm spoiling? Well, I, I, it's kind of like Elvis mentioned about living outside the passage of fate. And how only certain people can do that, but now he can see outside the passage of fate. It kind of makes him something. You no longer possess the Monado. I don't know. It comes from the bottom of my heart. It kind of makes him it something. It shows me my enemy. It reveals the future I must change. It's so chill here. The future we see is not set in stone. There are infinite possibilities based on the paths we choose. You should be well aware of this notion. For that is how you have always existed. That is a right for gods and gods only. If it's a right for Why gods and we gods care? only. What's important isn't whether you can see the future or not. It's the will to make a choice and the strength to seize your destiny. Our time has come. Yes. Our destiny is our own. Yes. Do it. Do it. Something, something. You must find your true Monado. A Monado? That's it just... It is not only you that is the boss. Yourself. Every what did living thing got the freedom to choose the path they walk. Shulk's a god. And that is the future. A third Monado has appeared. How can this have happened? You he accidentally made Shulk a god. <laughs> and he got his Monado. He has his own Monado now. This is ours. Let's beat his ass, shall we? Let's get the true Monado. <laughs> Alvis told us! Alvis told us! Now get ready for a banger. 
I'm gonna let this one roll without talking too much, because goddamn. Alright. You know what? Yeah, let's change that sense. Let's go. Let's send the soul called god to hell. Let's do it! Impossible! Zanza! How can some power dwell within you? From me to you! <laughs> to me! Back to you! Alright. No, we're good, we're good. Take some heals, homie. Yeah, oh. Mine is the one true Monada. Hell no. Instruments of destruction. Hell no. And we're outside. Alright. I have another chain attack for you. To me, to you. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. Let's hit him again. We're on that endless sea. <laughs> okay, keep saying it, dude. Keep saying it. Cope. Cope, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? I don't even have to fight the sea visions now. I just see them. Because I'm God, too. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, shit. But he not- Wait! <laughs> Bro, did it just end the fight? What happened? What? Huh? Your oh, it's fine. Cannot be permitted. I just got you. you. Oh, he did, he did he have abs or something? All right. Fine. No chain attack. Fine. There were like ads or something, I guess. <laughs> I missed them. <laughs> Oh, my gauge is almost going to get revived, too. That was just such a bad combo. Impossible. All right. Fine. I'll tell you what, then. If he wants to make this longer and not have me do chain attacks, then fine. If he wants to suffer longer, that's on him. Except I have a different idea. We chain attack the goddamn Guardians. Let's go. Let's go. Eat shit. Eat shit. I don't take spike damage in a chain attack. There we go. Alright. 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 Time to make him cope again. Oh shit, what are you gonna do? Oh, easy! Easy! Alright. Alright, alright. No problem. No problem. One of these. Eat shit. Okay. And now... Is he dead? He's dead. All right. Well, now he's asking for it. All right. One of these. One of these. Bite him. Bite him in his god knees. All it is and shall be. You are nothing. Keep saying it. <laughs> Keep saying it. Keep saying it. We're not done. Ah, uh, let's topple. That's fine. That's fine. I can do it now anyways. Let's Good job, everyone. Give him a little Monado Cyclone. Oh. One of these, maybe? Mm-hmm. 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 That was fun. All right. I cannot. This is the power of a god. <laughs> Where? I don't see it. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe it was kind of good on Dunban. Maybe you kind of got Dunban with it. But you forget... You forget! Let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eat shit. Eat shit. How? The, the power of a god cannot be overcome! Zanza, this is the problem of the shit. world. Even gods are merely beings restricted Who's to the Elvis? limited power determined by providence. Where is he? That power, although great, is not unlimited. That voice! Alvis! How dare you disobey me! Ah! I am Monado. I was here at the beginning. We'll talk about this after. And I will proclaim the end. We'll talk about that. But that that's impossible. impossible. Shulk, it is time for you to choose. 
Does this world belong to Zanza, or does it belong to you? That is something I decided long ago. Let's go. Ah! Let's go. That says God, I'm pretty Today, sure, chat. <laughs> we use our power to fell a god. There's the line. And then seize our destiny. Yes. Yes. Ah! Monado God. <laughs> In half. In All half. That I am is fading. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation, it is Get. vanishing. Yep. All right, chat. Are you ready for the biggest twist in the game, and possibly the series? Because here it is, and this is the final one. That's that's Earth. Where am I? This is my home. Elvis's home, huh? Your home? Hmm. Let's begin the experiment. Huh, who's that? Whose voice was that? It is Zanza. Before he became a god. Hmm. When he was simply a man of flesh. You mean not and a blood. Homs, but a human? Hmm. No! The results have not been confirmed! Hmm. It's too dangerous! And that voice. It's Maynath. Oh. Ridiculous! Hmm. It's perfectly safe. We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe. Once, only a god could perform such a miracle. But today, mankind moves one step closer to the divine. Klaus. There goes Earth. It was simple curiosity. There goes the universe, actually. The curiosity of a single man that destroyed the universe and created a new one. It's a fantasy a plot based off a sci-fi plot world on our born. planet. And so two gods came into they existence. They were humans the whole time. The gods were just two humans. Zanza and Maynath were lonely. So they created life in their own image. And they got lonely because they had to live like thousands of years by themselves in this weird realm. And that was realm. how we were born. And they made life. As the world advanced to each further stage, it was inherited by generations of different life forms. But over time, awareness of Zanza faded. Zanza feared this. In order to escape his own annihilation, he wished for a world in a perpetual cycle of All because homie didn't want to be forgotten. and recreation. <laughs> he did want friendship, but like, this is not, this being is not filled the way. With life. Not the way to do it. And the Telethia coming to wipe it out. It was all the will of Zanza. Interesting area it there. It was. But the truth of the matter is that he longed for friendship. His future, and our future. It might have been possible for them to coexist. Mm. Correct. However, that time has passed. The old god was defeated by the new god that he himself created. Yeah, so Shulk becomes god. god. Yes. That is why I appeared before you, Shulk. Well, there's a bit more, Alvis, but I'll explain later, but... What are you? What are you? I am the administrative computer of a phase transition <laughs> experiment He's facility. He's an AI! <laughs> but that will mean little to you. Kinda. To you, He's a super I am computer, a machine. Essentially. Yeah. That is my original form. Alvis? This world is stagnant. That's why he's so, like, black and white with his type, like, what it's talking. Or, like, direct. Therefore, I will ask you its new god. What is your wish? Will you allow the world to continue to stagnate? 
Or will you allow it to evolve to the next level? So what does Shulk decide? The choice is yours to make. I don't know. All I wanted to do was stop Zanza having his way, that's all. Hmm. I cannot be a god. Too right. <laughs> you're great and all, but there's no way you're a god. Everyone. Look, don't worry, Shulk. None of us want to be gods anyway. And I don't really know what the future holds, but we just want to live our life as it comes. Eating grub, sleeping, laughing, crying. Yeah. Sometimes arguing. That's the way to do it. Sounds all right. That's the yes. way to do it. <laughs> He's right. And being with the ones we love, that's enough. Even so, we change little by little. Just want to live our damn lives. Every day is a little different from the last. We do not know what the future will hold. More fun not knowing. Ricky want to have fun. Life's Stealth. little surprises are what makes it great. We don't know what's going to happen. It's worrying sometimes, but it's also exciting. Don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that called progress? Aren't we all continuously evolving? I'm not sure we need a more dramatic change than that. Yeah. You're right. Little by little. Each day as it comes. That's how we should live. Yeah. Good that's morals. That's our world. Yeah. Well. Oh, hey, he was still here. <laughs> Forgive my presumptuousness. That was a vision. But I recreated their personalities from your consciousness. Alvis, please. <laughs> Alvis, it sounds like you don't think I can make my own decisions. I'm supposed to be the god. Apologies. However, I have good reason. Alvis did make Ricky this say that, world yes. <laughs> has little time remaining if left in this state. Oh yeah, this world wants me destroyed. Your decision. The choice is yours, creator. Tell me your decision. For the future of this world. Screen title. I won't decide. The future should be decided yeah. by each and every person in the world. And so, what I... No. What we wish for is... Uh-huh. A world with no gods! Mm -hmm. God, I love this song. Oh, I love this ending! A world with no gods, goddammit! Get your ass out of here, Bionis. You piece of shit. Get absolutely melted. And also become a planet. There you go, everyone. There's the universe. gonna go ahead and bring that back you know it's been thousands of years but at least we brought it back and once again no spoilers but we we did just bring we did we did just bring the universe back with no longer some weird endless sea out of a mistake from an experiment everything it's bad it's natural and if you look at the arc art like the world the atmosphere like just just the land masses they don't look like alien anymore they actually look like a planet now they're not weird, like, spiky mountains and stuff anymore. Because it's not, you know... Not that weird shit. Who's this walking around? Yeah, this is a one-year skip, for the record. Hi, how are you? You idiot! Are you trying to kill me? Waluigi's okay still. Thank you, Square Tash. Sorry. What do you mean? I don't know sorry. how this man lived through all of this. What jumps around the entire colony? Fifty laps. Forty-four now. seconds. Please, Colonel. I'm gonna miss him. Forty-four seconds. Is that Vanilla? Oh yes. Yeah. That's excellent. Are you done, Ben? So you can take the materials to District Four. The restoration's coming along nicely. There he is. Thanks to Melia and Vanilla. The High Intier and Machina have some amazing technology. We are happy to help. Yeah, they're all to working together. To live alongside together. one another in harmony. After all, 
I have no doubt. This is what Lady Maynath and Egil would have wanted. Rip, rest in peace. Here, here. And may it last forever. Dumban? Oh, it's Fiora walking. Fiora? What is it? Have you seen Shulk? Oh, uh, he just left. I don't know where he's gone, but he was with Ryan and the others. Okay, thank you. Fiora? Hmm? Yes? Uh... It's nothing. Good luck. Cute. The music is so pretty. Oh, you, you just wait. One of my favorite songs ever again is gonna play soon and just... Oh, I'm, I'm gonna lose it. I'm already starting to lose it a bit here. If you're looking for Shulk, he is not here. Oh, hi, Melia. Oh, Amazing. yeah, you know, yeah. Amazing. It's like you've got eyes in the back of your head. <laughs> what were you looking at? The sea. I feel bad for Melia, man. I wasn't looking at anything in particular. But at least she anything, also gets her children. Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. Mm. Wow. You're so much more thoughtful than me. Really? I don't think so. I was just answering your question. But I know what you mean. You're right. She was dreaming We've of been through good. a lot. Yes, good, good. Yes. We have. But yeah, look, normal I am grateful mountains. to all of you. It is because I met you that I experienced so much. And it is the reason I am here now. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're happy you're here too. Yeah, we're all happy. Thanks, Melia. For everything. I'm glad I met you. Hmm. <laughs> We're all glad. We're and all glad. are you. All right. This is it, isn't it? Yep. This is the song. All right. This is it, everyone. I'm going to be... I'm going to try and be quiet for this one, but... Go, Ryan! Go, Ryan! Oh, Ricky, really hungry! Put your back into it, Ryan! Are you okay? And Juju. Him and Charlotte got kind of close. Oh, yeah. It's seawater now. It's salty. What's up with the water being so salty? Ryan, you're terrible at this. When was the last time you fished? I'm a bad fisherman. Ricky won't eat big fish. Give us a break. You try next time, Furball. Fishing is Ryan's job. Ricky's job is eating. Hang on a sec. Isn't Oka gonna have a massive go at you if you don't go back to her with 14 fish to feed all your 14. little pond? Oh, Ricky forgot! Wifey Pond very angry if not catch more fish! It ain't me she's gonna be angry with. No! Rain, catch fish! Catch fish oh. now! Oh, fish, fish. <laughs> oh man. Here you are. The breeze feels so good. Oh, she's saying it. But finally it actually it does. It's actually happy. Nice new hair. She got her body back. They got her body back. There is an explanation for this out of outside the game, but she did get her body back. Oh man. What is it? Oh, uh, that hairstyle. It, it looks good on you. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, awkward really? shot. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I was thinking about growing it out, but... Hey, which do you prefer? Oh, boy. Both, of course. <laughs> oh, come on. Boyfriend answer. What am I supposed to say to that? Boyfriend answer. Sorry. Okay. It's great like that. Don't change it. I'd forgotten what it feels like to do this. I wonder what the future has in store for us. Hmm. Who knows? I'm sure it will be full of ups and downs. Ups and downs? I don't know what the future holds. But that means I can imagine the possibilities. 
We can achieve anything we put our minds to. Yeah. You're right. Do you remember what the Monado, I mean Alvis, mm. said to us the last time we saw him? Yes, of course. Shook. This new world is boundless. You can keep this in mind if you want. It this is, is home here. to not only you, I will but say many why. forms of life. I can see it. In this world, all life will walk towards the future, hand in hand. What if I told you that's uh, foreshadowing, maybe, or not? Who One knows? day, I hope I can meet them all. The people of this endless world. Mm. Me too. God, this ending so good. We will. I know it. Mm -hmm. We'll meet them. And whatever happens, we'll face our future together. so good oh my emotions <laughs> no I need a minute oh. oh man that shit that ending always really gets me emotional <laughs> it's really really nice and like it's so like you got me so worried about the ending. No, when I meant like you guys were gonna like cry, I meant like a good way. But I, I couldn't say that at, at the moment. But I was like, if there's one thing that like Takahashi loves doing, the director, he straight up said he loves ha like happy endings. And like, oh man, that's such a good one. It, it's it's such a good one. And like, it's such a solid game on its own, you know. And um, I just I just love it. That whole adventure is just so goddamn good. Um from like start to finish the amount of twists that play out but everything's just so like well written where it's like if you go back and play it now you will get so much foreshadowing for like the legitimate end of the game um even even the fact that and uh no one pointed this out because of course i mean it's a japanese game so no one's gonna call it out but the fact that there was japanese kanji on the monado already was a hint that hey this is a thing from like someone who might have come from earth or something because that wasn't there for like fun aesthetics that was literally japanese um and then in the and and remember that on prison island the the ancient hyenti had a language and they said hey this language looks like the monado symbols it's japanese <laughs> old language and their old language would just be whatever like klaus knew i guess which is zanza the theory oh the fun theory that justice had was justice was like what if um what if earth and the universe was destroyed and the last of humanity lived on both titans like they were arcs and i was like shit you're kind of really close <laughs> you're kind of really you're half right yeah the universe and everything did get destroyed it was something like that justice had something like that and i was like yeah that's 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 a good that's a good theory i always remembered that one but I like some other ones you guys had today. You guys had like, oh, is like Earth. Someone guessed it tonight. Was Earth one of like the victims of like Zanz's whole like life ending thing? And you were technically right. He did destroy the entire universe. Um, is te Shulk technically still a god? No. So he gives up his god abilities and his ability to see the future when he wishes for a world with no gods. That, that removed his power. So now it's just a normal world. There's no higher order like making these decisions. Or at least they shouldn't be. Um, Alvis is the supercomputer. Yeah, he was a supercomputer aboard the ship. There's actually more info about that at some point in the future. Is Alvis dead? I can't tell you that. <laughs> I can't tell you that yet. If we keep going through these games, I can't... There's, there's some things I still can't tell you. Because, it, l like I said, at the, at the time of this game, Takahashi didn't have, like, all of the stuff in mind. But by the time he started 2, there, there's a lot to this series. That, that's all I'm gonna say. And a lot of references and callbacks and just a lot of things to help you understand more things 
I can't say too much more. But yes, Elvis was a supercomputer. I'm not going to say much more than that. Um, all we know is that Klaus was doing some kind of experiment. And uh, it wasn't ready. Maynith tried to stop him. And he pushes the button anyways because he had a god complex even back then. And he's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to push this button and we're going to recreate the universe or something. Something's going to happen, but I have the power to do it. So I want to know what happens. It's just some scientist shit. And uh, he destroys Earth and the entire universe. And yeah, it creates the endless sea. And they become like the two titans and stuff. But because Elvis is the supercomputer that's capable of doing all that kind of stuff. Because he has the power to do all that kind of stuff. Of course he can kind of manipulate stuff in the universe as well. So when you have two people who were basically the admins to that computer. He treated them like admins. In the sense that he's like, okay, well you get like godlike powers. You can shape the reality of this universe. So the Monados themselves are kind of like admin keys. And like I said before, they can be like anything. You know, um, they don't necessarily have to be a sword. That's just if you perceive it as a weapon, I guess you could have it like that. But the the Monado itself is just like your understanding of like, you know, the higher universe and like how to manipulate. So once 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 Shulk has that in his head, because because he was inhabited by Zanza and he starts to live outside the passage of fate by seeing these visions and stuff. Now he's able to kind of shape it. And uh, in that sense, he's allowed to have his own. Uh, administrative key, which is his Monado, if you look at it from computer terms. But yeah, um, I don't want to say too much more because uh, the other games have some stuff going on. And all I'm going to say is this, like I said, I love telling the truth to you guys. I love lying to you guys when it comes to the plot stuff. But if you really, really liked what's going on here, you should totally watch the others with me when I play them. Um, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say uh, maybe they're not related. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not related, but they make, but they give the other games more context. I don't know. Either way, you should absolutely watch the uh, the other ones. Um, where does the DLC to this game start from? I can tell you that. So if you guys don't know, and I'll probably stream it if you guys want. Uh, I'll, give me yes or no when I describe this. This uh, this version of the game has an epilogue um, that takes place like shortly after this ending. Um, would you want to see that epilogue? It would take like one or two streams to finish um, at some point. But it, it Mel Melia is is the main, like, uh, she's kind of like the big deal. Shulk's there too, but Melia's kind of like the uh, the focus. Um, it's a year and a half later. Okay, so it's some time after. Okay, well, there you go. Um, the most Xeno thing is Xenoblade was Earth. Yeah, so that, when I first played this game, I did not see that coming. I didn't even notice during the space scenes, like when Shulk was in space talking to Elvis, in my head I was like, oh yeah, it's just space. I didn't even realize I was looking at like Jupiter, or sorry, Saturn, you know, in the background. And then finally, when you finally teleport to that area and it has the name of the planet, it's like, wait, what What the hell? What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you, what, why is the actual solar system here? It's, it's an endless ocean with two titans. That's it. That's it. People are called Homs, not humans. What, why is Earth here? And then you find out that like, yeah. And that's probably, and this is this is a headcanon of mine, by the way. The headcanon is that because, like, have you noticed that a lot of the animal names, they look like animals from Earth, but they, they're slightly different. They have slightly different names, like, bun, like Bunny is, like, Bunnit, or, like, Wolf is, like, Wolf. For, in my head, I always, like, my headcanon was always, like, Zanja tried to recreate life, but he couldn't fully remember everything. <laughs> it's probably not that. But I also like that idea because when he summons dragons, it's like, oh, that's stuff from, like, mythology. So maybe he had that in his head when he made life. And then that's why we have dragons and stuff because that was, like, human mythology stuff. You know what I mean? Um, I just I just, I just, just love the idea of... Uh, one of my favorite plot points is when it's grounded in actual, like... It's grounded in some form of reality, like, on our planet, in our life, human life. But then it turns into fantasy because of shit that happened with, like, an experiment or something else. That, that's one of my favorite types of like archetypes because it's not it's not done like a lot the xeno games do it a shitload though um but it's just it's just so good anyways there's a new game plus you can carry over all your stuff you can even carry over the monado 3 which is shulk's monado and it is op it has like an insanely high crit rate what, what is it i saw someone say like 115 percent um but yeah the true monado and okay so the other thing the la the, the last thing um alvis the whole thing with Elvis is that, of course, he works under the command of, like, you know, either, like, Zanza or Maynith or whatever, right? Because, or Klaus or whatever, because they're the one, you know, they're, they're the admins. But um, 
even Elvis was able to recognize some form of like stagnation with the way that like Zanza was treating all of life. And you can tell that even though he probably couldn't just like act on his own, he slowly kind of saw the potential in Shulk. Once Shulk was like, you know, possessed and shit, he, I guess he kind of saw that Shulk was like already at like maybe a god at that point, And he kind of steered Shulk towards an answer-ish. Um, and that's why at the very beginning of the game too, like before you even meet him, he's telling you to tr like find the true Monado and all this shit. Because he already kind of like, he already kind of has the end game in mind, you know, like 50 hours before you get there. Um, oh, oh, why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? But yeah, um, so I'm going to save here. So, um, <laughs> that is Xenoblade. That is one of my favorite games of all time. And I hope you guys got to see why I never shut up about this series. And why I'll scream anytime Nintendo announces anything to do with this series. And why it's my favorite, like, party in, like, any JRPG. I, I love these characters so much. And, like, it's one of those things where, like, I, I know it sounds lame. Although I probably won't to you guys, because I'm sure you guys feel the same way. But, like, I get really sucked into games, like, too much to the point where, like, I treat them like they're real people. Because to me, it kind of is real. I mean, they're there. They're right here in front of me. You know what I mean? And, like, I actually do miss them once I'm done with the game. Like, I'm going to miss all of them again. I'm going to be very emotional just thinking about, like, damn, that's the last time I'll see, like, Ryan and stuff. You know what I mean? But at least you can, you can at least, like, settle knowing that they're all just, like, happy. You know what I mean? There's that happy ending. Um, I, I also have this dumb thing that I do, like, when I'm done with a game. I've done it ever since I was a kid. I've told Chad about this, but ever since I was a kid, when I was done with a really good game, I would, like, actually thank it. <laughs> I will thank it for everything it's done or all like the problems that helped me through while playing it and then I'll like promise to play it again or some crazy shit which sounds insane but it's a nice ritual it makes me appreciate these things so much more you know it, it's why I have like a super special edition of this game you know um and like every time I play this game it helps me through a lot it, it's helped me through a lot this time too and like having these nights with you guys like the first night I did this game I was like sleepy I was like I don't know if anyone's gonna want to come in and, and enjoy this but I want to do it because it'll make me feel better because there's stuff going on and, you know, it made me feel a lot better about everything. So thank you so much for all of you being here. You're all incredibly lovely. And, uh, I mean, the game has good morals too, you know? Uh, as corny as it sounds about the whole seize your own destiny, shape your own destiny, you know, um, nothing's actually like, you know, d destined or, or, or predetermined to happen. You can, you can... You can go out of that, no matter what people tell you, how to live your life or this and that, you know? You can do it. Um, and that, that stuck with me, because when I first beat this game, it was around the time I started YouTube, so, you know. Yeah. It's it's really good, and and, and I, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Monolithsoft, for making such sick games. And, um, well, there's gonna be, of course, the epilogue, and then maybe in, like, November next month, we'll probably do Xenoblade 2. Uh, if you guys want to catch that, I would love to have you. Um, I really, I really do, uh, I really do appreciate you all. Um, oh yeah, there's also a new ending screen, I believe, that you guys might enjoy. Um, I, I think it comes up here. It should. Um, but if it doesn't, I think it's after the epilogue that it comes up. Need to do two and three? I'll, I'll, I'll do it in all the DLCs if you guys really want more Xenoblade Weekends. If you guys... Oh, there you go. If you enjoy the Zekens, I'll, I'll I'll do it. Um, But there's there's all the lads sitting and just watching. And the Bionis head is just there. It got repurposed to a planet, but there's still some Bionis there. <laughs> do more Zekens? I'd love to. I'd love to. Um, Oh, yeah, right on time, homie. I'm glad that didn't interrupt or any emotional scenes. That would have been awkward. But yeah, there you go. We'll do Future Connected. We can do two Torna. We can do all of it. Um, Ricky being happy. Would you believe there's actually more to this screen once you beat the epilogue? Don't forget to do X. If everything goes really well and you guys genuinely want to see more after I do three in its DLC, whenever I get to that point, I will 100% do X. because I haven't played X since the release day. Or like, sorry, since the year it was released. So it's been a long time. I, don't even, I hardly remember the game, so. Um, but yeah. That's Xenoblade, and uh, it, 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 yeah, I don't know how much more to say, uh, like, because everything just sounds like a self-vent, which I think is okay for my stream. 
but yeah, I, 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 this, this game really has done a lot for me, um, along with you guys, of course, which is why I want to share these things with you because of how much I appreciate you all, you know? Um, but yeah, I think everyone has some good stories with this game to those who played it and like really loved it. But for me, it was like at a time when I was like ready to just like give up on like trying the whole YouTube thing. Cause like I said, I just started off and like, it like, it wasn't going well. I, I, like, I, I've told you guys the story of like when I first uploaded like a video, like it had like four views, like four dislikes. People were like, this is hot garbage. And I was like, all right, well that sucks. Which it was by the way, but like, you know, it's one of those things where you just got to get up and do it again, you know? And this game kind of inspired me at the time. Because, like, I don't know, it kind of reinvigorated my love for, like, a lot of things. Because it was, like, a huge low point when I started my career. I, like, flipped this, like, metaphorical coin kind of thing where I was, like, it's pretty much this career or nothing. Because this is all I really, like, you know, really had to gun for. So, um, in, in, a, in, a, in a really, in a really weird way, or not a weird way... Um, you guys actually really did, like, save my life a few times. And I know that's, like, random and out of nowhere, or maybe it's not. I I've mentioned it before. But, like, thank you for being... I, I, I know, like, I get annoying with it, where, like, I say it all the time, how much I appreciate you guys, and it sounds fake, maybe, sometimes. But that's, like, that's pretty... Like, that's why I keep saying all those things. Because you I actually do have a lot to thank you guys for. Um, I, I honestly... I honest to God do not think I would be here if you guys didn't play, like, such a huge factor in my life. Because um, this, is, this is all... This is all that I want <laughs> you know what I mean there's not a lot that I want but it's like the things that I do want can be hard sometimes and this is one of those things to be able to live this career and do these streams and that's why like just like you know baseball curse up there thank you for the 100 bits I really appreciate that thank you for being here no need to thank me at all but I really appreciate that either way man just thank you it's stuff like that where you know even if it wasn't financial stuff your supportive words always kind of push me to keep going so because there's a lot of times where like it's hard you know um, and that's why these games and stuff too just bring so much happiness to me. And, uh, if it brought any happiness to you too, then, then good stuff. Or if it brought, if any morals stuck with you, then that's good. And if I can help people out as well, you know, with their feel bad times, kind of like what Foolish said, I, you know, I, it makes me so incredibly happy that I can do that. Cause that's just me paying it forward, but I don't see it like that, but you know what I mean? You know, you know? If I can do the same thing that you all did for me, then, like, I have succeeded. I, I have considered myself successful in that case, you know? I have a long way to go, but, you know, thank you for all just being you, you know? And, um, and I, oh, Nana, I really appreciate that. I, I am glad that I can help you improve with any of your art or be a comfort streamer or any of that. Um, because I, I, and I, like, I do, I can't believe this happened again. At the end of a goddamn good game, we always do this, huh? But, like, I, I always, like, um, you know... I'm really self-conscious about my streams, despite maybe not showing that sometimes. Maybe I do. I don't know. But I'm really self-conscious about them. That's why it's taken me so long to put up VODs and stuff, too, because I'm like, damn, what if I had some kind of, like, hot take? What if I what if I swore too much? What if this and that? And that's why I haven't, like, uploaded the VODs. I, I, I was never, like, incredibly transparent about it. Maybe I was here and there, but that's pretty much why. I'm always scared to upload them. It's not because I'm, like, lazy. I'm just scared. Um. So whenever you guys, like, say these things, it kind of gives me more courage to, like, put it up there on, on YouTube. And like, just, just, just let it go. And if people have a problem, they have a problem. But like, it's just one of those things where it's like, I'm glad to hear that these streams can be comfortable for people. And, you know, I repeat myself all the goddamn time, like every two seconds. I don't know how many times you have to hear Xenoblade. It's one of my favorite games next to Breath of the Wild, this and that. Um, I, I know that like, it, it like, you know, it's, it's not perfect, but at least, you know, at least I like who I am. Thanks to you all, you know? So, you know, <laughs> never give up. Ba 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 ba. I'm just remembering the crab man now. Thank you so much, Riggle. I appreciate that. And it's true. It's true. Honestly, like, it's one of those things where it's like, it just sounds so corny, but it never, like, it's uh, it's all true. All that motivational speaker shit and stuff at times, it, it's all true. Like, if you go by that mentality, it, like, it actually, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It makes life just a little bit better, you know? Even on the fear, go to, I didn't know you had such a cool personality before I tune into your streams. I enjoy it. And thank you so much, Hereupon. It really... It really means a hell of a lot. Uh, that, that's the other thing I'm always scared about too. I'm like, if people come from the YouTube and they come here and then like, they hear me talk more and have opinions and shit. It's like, oh man, they might think I'm cringe or something. Um, so it really, it really means a lot. And thank you Theta Criterion for the 35 months, almost three years. Holy shit. And the hype train. I really appreciate that. God damn. <laughs> thank you so much Theta. Oh my goodness. Um, and thank you everyone for just starting that. Being cringe is good. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being cringe. It's the part that cringes, yeah? Um, 
We do talk about that often as well. There's nothing wrong with being cringe. It just makes you a little more quirky, and that's good. We need some more quirky in this world, you know? And thank you, Node, for the 100 bits. Damn, you guys don't have- you guys actually don't have to do the thing, but like, I mean, if you do, thank you so much. It, like I said, it does continue to help me out, but, um, hope we're not just doing it because I'm getting all emotional. Just thank you so much. Sorry, I can't think of a name as well for you are Pog. I like being Pog. I like being Pog for all of you, and I, I hope I can be Pog for many years to come, you know? Um, I don't feel old yet. You know, I'll be this 30 or year old ass streamer doing his little cringe streams and I'll be I will be ha very happy with that as long as, uh, you know, as long as people continue to enjoy them. Yeah. Um, so, you know, three literally came out the exact right time of my life and I adore it for that and the series as a whole. It's funny. Actually, same for me. When Xenoblade 3 came out, I'm pretty sure like I almost like teared up because I was I was watching the Nintendo Direct stream live when they announced it and um, like chat was here and I was freaking out. And I was like, I needed this. <laughs> I, I really needed this. So I, I feel you. Like, Xeno, there's just something with the stories in this game, man. Like, it's just it's just really good. It's really good. Um, I'm on the day a year older than you, so don't worry. I'm pre-experiencing this all for you. <laughs> as far as I know, hey, as long as I don't start falling apart immediately, I'm fine. I just want to be able to continue doing what I love, you know? I will do everything I can to just keep streaming because I, I, love, I love being around all you lads, you know? Thank you for making my life something that actually feels like worth it. Um, and I always, there's another thing I always repeat is like, if little shady could see this, he would probably be freaking, uh, he wouldn't, he wouldn't believe it. I, I didn't think any of this was possible. I didn't think enough, like this many people would actually appreciate me or like actually convince me to love myself because I, I, I I'm, a, I'm around a lot of people who do genuinely love me. You know what I mean? But I don't feel it sometimes. You know what I mean? I just know it, you know? And like having the knowledge is a good thing to go off of, but sometimes it's nice to feel it. And, uh, with the constant, like, gratification that you guys give me and stuff, which you never have to do, by the way. It's not, like, required. I know you guys know that, but, like, you know, thank you for doing that. Because at some point, something clicked where I was like, yeah. Um, you know, no more self-deprecation. I always do the, thank you, I am funny and handsome, blah, blah, blah. And I might not fully believe that all the time, but it feels nice to say it. It makes me feel better than saying I'm trash or something. Or, like, gross or whatever, you know? Um... And because of that, I mean, the confidence got way better. And you know what? Pe pe people notice that, you know? Um, so, y you know, that's another thing. Just, you know, don't don't be saying weird shit about yourself. I remember getting Xenoblade 1 Definitive Edition as soon as it came out. Made it to the Zord fight, put the game down, then some time passed, and I finally got around to finishing it. No, honestly, this is a game where, like, it can be... Sometimes it won't, like, grab someone immediately. And then you go back, and then it's like, oh, man, shit. Oh yeah, this is my favorite title screen ever as well. Like, out of all the Xeno games too, this is the one. Um, but yeah, I guess just to end off that whole thing is that like, uh, I know that you guys are going through similar stuff that I've been through. So some of the stuff you guys rant about is some stuff that I've been through. I just don't get personal. I, I won't say which, which of you I relate to. Just know that like, I, I've related to quite a bit of you on some almost exact situations that you like have vented about. And uh, just know that if I can do it and if I can make this silly career for myself you can too so um you know don't stop don't stop doing what you love you know uh because then w w what else are you gonna do you know don't worry about getting old because then you're gonna worry till you're old and then you're old you know all that shit it, d don't worry about it just live your life as much as you can and just know that with time things actually do get better um which it might not seem like that at the moment but it will i i, I promise you and of course of course, if you ever need to come on by somewhere, have a little distraction, you know, on your way up uh, into 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 greatness, <laughs> you're, you're always welcome here in the shit show. So, there you go. All right. That Xenoblade. I didn't cry, God damn it, but I almost did. <laughs> it was really close. But I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. But like, uh, oh man, I found myself getting close. So anyways, that's Xenoblade. That's Xenoblade. Now, how would you like... Uh, before we get to art and stuff... How would you like a... As a palate cleanser to heal the bittersweet sadness that you feel? Which, by the way, bittersweet such a nice feeling. I love this feeling right now. I, I love living in this feeling. Maybe not all the time, but this is nice. This is a nice, like, what do I do now? Like, that was so good. It's over. Now I'm going to go think about what their lives are like after after this happy ending. You know what I mean? But at least we'll get to know a bit of it in the epilogue. We won't get to know all of what happens. 
but we'll get to know a bit. Bittersweet's, yeah, Bittersweet's a fantastic feeling. I, I could never knock this feeling. Took me more than a year to finish this game. I started, took a break, started over, took another break. Then you started streaming it last year. That's right. That's right. Yeah, when I did this playthrough, it's what pushed you to finish it. I'm so, I'm so glad that you're glad that you did. It really, it really, really uh, made me happy to see that, you know, you picked it back up and you're going through it. Um, but yeah, uh, as, as a, as a palate clenches to those who are feeling deep in the emotions right now, would you like to see some funny out of context clips from Xenoblade 2 to get you hyped maybe? Because I'm going to show you like two of them and you might not remember them when I stream the game, but the thing that I'm going to tell you now, did you love Rex? <laughs> did you love Shulk's voice acting? Did you love his screams? He had really good screams, right? Some of you already know where I'm going with this. Okay. I'm going to introduce you to the pro tag of the next game. And you're going to hear his screams. And it's going to be very different than what you were expecting from Xenoblade quality. But I'm going to tell you now, it's one of those things that you come to appreciate because of its jankness. Um, give me a minute here. Let me, uh, let me, uh, I, all I gotta really do is just type Rex scream, don't I? But also, he's like a, he's like a little himbo in training. So if you like the himbo archetype kind of personality, um, you'll enjoy, you'll enjoy Rex. Rex is honestly, a, he's one of my favorite characters in JRPGs as well. Your favorite pro tag already? Uh, my wife is in this game too, by the way. Like my, like my top wife that I always talk about, Pyra, um, this is this is the game that she's in. Anyways, here's some here's some screen here's some here you go, here you go. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. All right. One more. Um. Hang on. That, that's how he screams. I'm sorry. Okay, now, this next one is... Uh, I'm not going to show too much of this one because it has, it has my favorite character of the second game. But I feel like Mel might enjoy this one. Because this is this is the himbo of this game. Um, and you guys already know who I'm talking about. It brings a whole new meaning to Zeke end. Because um, <laughs> his name... Well, you know, well... Anyways, I'm going to skip ahead. I just want to get to the one part. That that's him with the eye patch. He's more himbo than Ryan. He's actually somehow more silly than Ryan. He's like a Team Rocket member, him and his partner. Oh, it's Shellhead. Also, it even has silly music. Yes. Wait, who's Shellhead? As ever. Your comic This man's supposed to be a villain. And you will address me as Zeke von Gembu, bringer of chaos, or Zeke, or the Zekenator. Zeke ends. The slutty down. chest, I yep. The anyway. And then you have the Welsh cat girl here. <laughs> <laughs> you may have been lucky last time, mm -hmm. thanks to a certain unstable cliff. I'm not going to give any context. But this time round, we meet on good old Look at them just Tara both doing the poses and shit. Is this not great? Is this not amazing? Oh, that's Pandoria. She's great. She's great. Um. Okay, so do you guys know what one-eyed monster means? I'm going to tell you now. It means penis. Okay, I just need you to know that for a reason. If you think you can run from me a second You'll time, see. you are quite mistaken. Nobody did any running. And anyway, shall I? What? You answer to that. I, I, I still love that they I just gave her a Welsh ass accent. But what's with that cutesy eye patch? Oh wait, you know what? <laughs> I'm quite glad. I'm not gonna tell you why he has the eye patch because it's amazing. So I'm gonna skip ahead. And we're gonna get to the we're gonna get to the one part. Okay, here we go. Here it is. I, I'm not gonna tell you why he has an eye patch. Listen, Pam. I'm sorry, but we really don't have time to play with you today. So hurry on home, okay? <laughs> What's this? Were you so frightened by our power that you wet yourself, furry ears? His Did voice. I what? You've got a lot of nerve, you one-eyed monster. Oh. Oh. Nia, you do know one-eyed monster usually means. Huh? Means what? Um, it's, uh, Mithra, why are you blushing? Shut up! By the way, okay, 
That screen shatter is how they get into the battle. That's the battle transition. That is the battle transition. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, it goes. It immediately goes into the fight after that. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god. All right, I can't. Sh I can't show any more videos on here. How's this game more anime than Xenoblade 1? It is the most anime game in the trilogy. I'll tell you that. There's even a hot spring scene. <laughs> and the best part is that even in the hot spring scene, they still find a way to foreshadow a big plot point. Like a big twist. But we'll we'll get to that when the time comes. Can't wait to see the gameplay. It's, it's wild. What do you mean? <laughs> You're going to have to wait and find out, I guess. Yeah. But, uh... Isn't that great? Isn't that fantastic? Oh! Think you can take me? Don't forget me! Behave! Thank you for the $3 donation, Ralph! Yeah, that's also a thing that chat's going to have to experience. I, I say that in a way where it's like, they might be unwilling, but they will have to experience it. Um, but we'll get there when the time comes. We'll get there when the- What is Mori Calliope's thumbnail? <laughs> wild. I'm not complaining, but wild. Um, I, I like just noticed it like came up twice and I was like, all right, well, it really wants me to watch her stream, huh? Um, but yeah, also, I love the Waka is a racist. He kind of is at the beginning of the game, though. Like I, I always mention that he's racist, but I don't like that. I can't talk about it. Also, also, there's some spoilers in some of the thumbnails. So it's time to go ahead and do this. Um, but I'll show you guys some more stuff sometime. But, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy when the time comes. I'll tell you what, at some point this month, maybe we can fit in... You know what? Maybe on the actual literal weekend, we can stream Future Connected, which is the epilogue to Xenoblade 1 with Melia and Shulk. And I'll tell you... Okay, okay. J just, just to drag you in more for this epilogue, it foreshadows future stuff in the series. Um, and, and two of the party members, along with Shulk and Melia, are Ricky's kids. <laughs> it's two of Ricky's kids. So, um, that, 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 that might, that might interest you a little bit. Um, so yeah, we'll, we will see what that's all about. It'll probably take like one or two streams. It wouldn't take, it shouldn't take that long at all. Uh, is it connected to the future redeemed? Maybe. I don't know. Can't answer it. Can't answer you. Is it even fully connected to anything else or only a reference? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows, Chad? Guess you gotta come by for Xenoblade weekends. Um, <laughs> for real though, uh, that was just that was just such a lovely, lovely stream. Is the future connected? I wonder. Is is the future? Is the future connected? Zekens, what is said now? Yeah. Anyways, uh, what else? What else can I tease you with really quickly? Um, oh. You want to hear? Do you want to hear what the normal battle theme is from Xenoblade Two? Th what the standard battle theme is? Cause uh, it 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 kicks ass. Hang on. Let me play this for you while I get the. I'll play this for you while I get the art together. Listen to how much more energy this has. This sounds like this sounds like the unique boss battle theme in Xenoblade One. You know what I mean in terms of energy. All right. Let me get the art here. I covered this with Gay Bacarina once. Mm. Mm. Hang on, hang on. One sec here. Just making sure I have the right starting point. Okay, yep. Yeah. Wait, wait for the chorus though. Wait for this shit. You ready? You ready for it? Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what do you mean by theme keep now? What 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 is theme keep? Like like bringing an old theme back or something else? 
Or do you mean like a name? Because instead of you will know our names, oh, theme, theme gatekeep? <laughs> when they interrupt the songs. Oh! Wait, do they not interrupt in this one? That's actually amazing. Why'd they go back in three? <laughs> Wild. Wild. I thought you meant if, like, they bring, like, a name back because, like, um... Uh... Instead of you will know our names, this one has you will recall our names or something. But yeah, okay, okay, one more, one more, one more song. Um, hang on. Let me, let me pick... You know what, I, I, I got another classic. Hang on. This, this is this is the this is the song of an overworld in one like this this is one of the area themes this is trailer <laughs> Yeah, it's thriller, it's crap battle, it's it's whatever. Yeah, yeah. We know. And this one too, that one, Dancing Queen. Yeah, yeah. But wait, wait for it, wait for it. Mm. God, this chorus goes so hard. of the crab battle. <laughs> mm, mm. So I just realized you guys are just seeing a screen. I was dancing the whole time to this. <laughs> oh, and also, chat. Xenoblade 2 has the dreaded. The dreaded gotcha. gotcha, 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 gotcha. Except it's free. It's not predatory, it doesn't take your money, but it, it's still gotcha. It, there's actual gotcha. You do rolls. And uh, yeah, it's actually going to be kind of fun because it's free, which means we can do a bunch of it and chat can scream, yeah, pull that rare blade. And you're going to be like, what's a blade? I'm not going to tell you yet. But um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Miko. Oh man, yeah. If I can pull a yeah, Miko variant, I want to pull a Cosmos. Cosmos is like the big one that you want to pull in that game, but... Um, who is, by the way, a Xeno Saga character, or I guess the Xeno Saga character. Um, but you can just, like, pull her in the game. <laughs> um, I want to play Drifting Soul, but I won't. I'm not going to play that song. We're going to wait. Okay. Okay. So, uh, how do you guys feel about Klaus <laughs> after all of that? Also, um, I want to mention one really funny thing before I go into the art. Because I wanted to laugh, but I couldn't because I didn't want to spoil anything by accident. But someone, like, last stream, as a joke, they didn't know the, the plot of the game, but they said Zanza Klaus, like Zanza Claus, as a funny joke. And then someone went, shh, and, like, like replied to them. And I didn't want to be like, wait, they don't know the plot. They don't know the plot. Like, they weren't trying to spoil it, but I was laughing. I was like, oh, my God. They just accidentally called it. They just accidentally called it. Yeah, you saw it, right? That shit was so funny. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, this is like the third time someone's like called the plot by accident. But like, it's uh, it's so funny. But yeah, Zanza, like, they, 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 it just clicks. It just clicks. I don't even know if they knew that when they were making it, like the devs, but or like the writers, but um, absolutely just goaded. Um, you boot the game up just to kill him again. <laughs> uh, there's a reason I asked you all that, by the way, but we're I'm not going to say anything. I just want to know how you guys felt about him. That's all. But, uh... I, I'm still doing things to tease you on future plot stuff. There's still there's still some mysteries. Like, it did explain almost everything. But there is now the mystery of future stuff. What Alvis was talking about, you know? All this other stuff. So, um... Maybe, maybe it leads to something. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm just trying to goad you in for more content. Who knows? But you, you, you guys know that even when I tease, there's something to look forward to. So... Uh, stay, stay tuned. Egocentric doctor committed genocide just to be remembered. Can't really like him with the info we got. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Even with this whole, I longed for friendship. It's like, okay, dude. Now you're just playing the victim. Like, you killed people. 
restarted the world today remember you you know who didn't have issues with that manith and i know manith had less issues with that because her people lived a lot longer but like you could still make yourself like a parent like she clearly like communicated with her people and stuff but like he didn't care about that because he saw himself not as one of them he saw himself as a god so i guess he just didn't feel like it i don't know i don't know but dude dude messed up bad anyways let's get um Let's actually see if there's a Xenoblade playlist, because why not? Tonight's the night to have one of those, yeah? Xenoblade playlist. Let's see. A long night in Xenoblade. Relaxing music for 1, 2, 3, and X. Perfect. Good. Nice. Nice. A song that you're not going to hear for a while? <laughs> It's Frog Flats. It's called Ribby Flats or something, like R-I-B-B-I, -B -B -I, but whatever. Anyways. Time for Ort. Oh, wait. I think I just put chat in the wrong spot. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got tonight. You say we're going to play the title screen theme? I did! I did! Thank you. You reminded me. Jesus Christ. I was like, while I was typing it, I was like, isn't there something I'm supposed to do? Like, at uh, on this final stream, we started with Xenoblade, we end with Xenoblade. Alright. Good. Cool. And this is pretty much the length of the art. So this works. Okay. Now it's art for real. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. The first piece of art comes from... My mom said it's my turn on. They just said he's in the mood. And they have an exam. Good luck with the exam. Um, but it is... Oh my goodness, some JoJo shit. Okay. Shady Bug, Steel Maiden. Oh my god. Wait, you made my stand Eddie from Iron Maiden. It's based on the poster that I have. <laughs> That's so good. And I like how you like I like how you did the did the old English censor. Like instead of Iron Maiden, you made it into Steel Maiden. That that is fantastic. Lots of precision. Okay. No power, potential speed. Okay, so it's precision and range it's high in ability he's in the mood i like the reference there as well that's very funny uh info once the user is motivated to complete a task the axe will seek out a material to cut away in order to complete the task oh shit okay cool shit almost I, I, in my eyes i was like yo minecraft and i was like wait no hang on <laughs> method of activation users concentration limit more susceptible to concentration is easily broken by surrounding stimuli oh my god you even included adhd <laughs> oh my god that's so good the one before this one nana i think straight up said that it's not to be shown like it's old art um but this is this is absolutely amazing really good i also love the outfit you threw on for me here um, I love the balloon guy, like, button and stuff, the, the sash-looking thing that looks kind of like a ripped denim, like, hoodie jacket thing. The fingerless gloves, the shoes. All of it is very, very, very pog. Very good job, uh, my turn. I, honestly, one of your best works. Um, I have to give you big compliments on the stand, though. The stand looks so sick. The stand looks so, so sick. I just love that it's based off of Eddie. That makes me even happier. But man, that, that is a design you should hang on to. Because, like, that is just, like, a sick original design. Or, you know, like, original enough. Very, very good work on that. Well, there you go. There's your there's your JoJo. There's your JoJo. Yeah, you know, I saw some discussions about this. But I, I purposely looked away. Because I'm like, I know uh, in, in my head. In my heart of hearts. I was like, this is going to be for art. And I'm glad I got the surprise. I had no idea what the standard abilities were going to be. I also love that you played into the ADHD thing as well. Like, this is great. Because that would be my folly in the uh, in the manga. They'd find some way to, like, sensory overload me or distract me just at the slightest bit. Because that's all it takes. And that's why I love that I have precision. Because if I do focus, I usually am hyper-focused on shit until it breaks. So, uh, that, that, like, that, this is really thoughtful, uh, my turn. Thank you so much for putting so much, like, level of detail into it. There's a lot of love in this, and I really appreciate that. Okay. And no worries, Stonks. Have a good night. Take it easy. All right. Um, and next up comes from uh, your idol. Or at least, it, uh, never mind. It changed from your idol. Linny? Meow Synth? I'm not sure who this is in chat. 
I believe this might be a new... Oh, it's Iris. It's Iris. It's Iris. It's Iris. <laughs> I checked the profile. It's Iris. Okay. Iris was here earlier as, I think, Hibiscus Sugar. Um, they said, may not be about the stream, but since I finally got a chance to actually stop by, I wanted to make some cool art. Don't worry. As long as it's related to, like, me as, as well, it counts as uh, stream art. And this is fantastic. It's just uh, it's a sick, cool balloon guy with a hoodie and everything, too. Um, I love that. Very nice. Super cool expression. Very, very uh, cute and awesome art style as well. Um, I actually love the way you drew the folds and everything on the hoodie. Like, the hoodie itself looks really good. Very, very... I, also, by the way, compliments on the hands. Um, this is excellent. Very, very good stuff. And thank you so much for making some lovely art. Uh, as I always say, uh, you are more than welcome to submit some art. Uh, as always, good to see you. And I hope you've been well. Um, one minute here. Uh, this next one... This next one, I, I don't remember... Like, I can't tell if this is in relation to what happened during the stream or if Retro accidentally called a moment in Xenoblade. Seeing as everyone's accidentally calling moments in Xenoblade. But anyways, this next one's from Retro. He said, for him, it's huge, but for us, it's normal size. B-Guy carrying a fork. Did you make this on a whim or is it because we saw the giant fork in Prison Island? <laughs> because we ran into a giant fork today. How many, <laughs> how many coincidences are we getting? Okay, it is because of the giant fork. Okay, I had to, I had to ask because chat, cat, chat's been calling, cat, cat's been calling the goddamn plot uh, today. The past few streams, actually. I can't wait to see what y'all think of Xenoblade 2. Because I'll tell you now, that's an even crazier one to figure out in terms of plot. In fact, with Xenoblade 2 chat, at the very beginning of the game, there's a point where you could look somewhere in the skybox and you will see one of the biggest twists in the game. You will see like a straight up spoiler, but you won't you won't realize it. And because of that, I won't show you. Um, or at least I won't pay too much attention to it. But um just uh there's 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 something around. I there's just something around. It, it, it's it's very it's it it's subtle not quite subtle but it's subtle wait really i didn't know that I, I i wish i could tell the people who like played the game what it is you can see that you can see it you can see it <laughs> which game xenoblade 2 but i can't spoil what it is um you have to look again yep look at the focal point if you know what i mean there's a focal point in that skybox and then you know, angle yourself, maybe down, maybe up, I don't know, and then maybe you'll see something. Um, this is really, really cute, Retro. I also love that, like, it, it like, <laughs> the amount of effort this man's doing to hold up this little ass fork. I'm sorry, this big fork. He's, he's a, he's a big man with his big fork. All right. This is very cute. I like the idea of, like, baking or something, and he brings this comically large, or, like, for him, it's a comically large fork, to be like, all right, I'm ready to dig in now. Very cute concept and lovely, lovely work. We also have another uh, piece of art from Retro. This is a favorite. Uh, Retro said, B guy had enough of this crap. The context, you killing everyone. <laughs> Two million people died. Cause of death. Popping B guy's balloon. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he he looks so demented. That that is that is the sign of a killer. Just just that's him. That's actually so cute, though. I actually really love this. And you know what, Retro? It kind of works for Halloween. It kind of do be working for Halloween. This could be a bit... Like, this could actually be his Halloween outfit. That sign and the knife and, like, ketchup or something. And that's it. But that's lovely. Very, very good job. And very cute, as always, dude. My god. Someone just... I look over in chat. I immediately see... I think it's okay for B-Guy to kill people. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. If you have Pyre with you, is it too late? No. There's no too late, by the way. You can you can see it at all times. Um, so as early as you can look in that direction, you can see it. And you can see it all the way to the end. Um, and it's it's sick. It's really cool. <laughs> Xenoblade's just like that. Xenoblade is just like that, huh? It's true. Legally, B Guy can commit murder. I'm not letting my son do this. <laughs> I'm not letting my son commit these atro atrocities unless it's Zanza. If Zanza pops his balloon, he can go ham. Or like, I don't know, like Lorothea. You know, he can go ham. 
Uh, Dixon, kinda. I don't know. There's just there's something with actually no. Dixon's an asshole. I can sense Dick. <laughs> you never swam to those waterfalls. Oh God, I forgot. All right, let me turn back on the game. I'm kidding, but uh, it is it is a nice view. You you should all swim. You should all swim down that way. Next up comes from Only Smiles. They said just a thing I drew for no particular reason whatsoever. I. <laughs> Wow, shit, is anyone else starving right now? <laughs> is anyone else starving? I bought some Thai food. I I, I think I... I mm, yeah, I'm, I'm in the mood now. If no one knows the context here, if you came in late, uh, I, I mentioned that I have a Pavlov effect when it comes to paper bags. If I hear one... If I see one and hear one crumple, I get hungry, like, immediately. Um, Not even a joke. That actually happens. It's really weird. And that's why we have it here. <laughs> That's that's why we have it here. I love it though. Thank you, Only Smiles. Don't do this to me. Don't actually, you know what? Do this to me. I have to work out, so having a meal after actually works out perfectly. Uh, thank you for the lovely art. Uh, next up, we have art from um, this person named Nana Does Art. I, I don't I don't know they, who they are. I don't know. Probably someone new here. Uh, it's a Tomodachi Life Part 6 featuring babies. Yo, babies? Babies? <laughs> what about babies? Do you have any babies? Uh, Dad, why does Pama call you baby girl? How about we stop talking for a while? <laughs> Man, it's true. I, like, so many people would call Flogert a baby girl. Pama's what Aster calls Momo. Okay, gotcha. Or, sorry, not Momo. Mo Mono. Okay, which is... Okay. That's, that's, that's your peep. Yeah. Pama equals Papa plus Mama. Oh, that's sick. I like that. And then we have, um, we have Aria and Apollo. So like the, the one in front, the tallest kid, that's Aria. That's supposed to be like my AU daughter. And then Apollo, which is like my AU son, the one with the pink hair there. The baby there is Chat's kid, actually. S Sabrina, was that the name? Sabrina. We got the baby stack. Oh, I love the baby stack. The baby stack is adorable. Look at them. I still love that the bee girl is there. We got Squibbly or Lorbo. We got Balloon Guy. We got Woodwood. Honestly, we've been getting a, quite a bit uh, of pieces of art of like all the lads together. And it's been really nice. I think Retro did one last stream as well. And it was really nice. These are super, super cute. The expressions, once again, are lovely. And once again, once again, thank you so much for drawing this style. Because whatever this is, I, I, I love this, Nana. This, this cute little art style here. It's dope. It's dope. Also, I just love the way you capture everyone's expressions just so accurately, like, to their character. Even with, like, the kids here. It just, it just works perfectly. With, like, you know, you have, like, the, like, the, the eager face on, like, her. And then you have, like, his chill-ass face here. And it's just like, oh, good, good shit. Good shit as always. This next piece, and I'm so glad you saved it. Um, apparently it's a preview. Uh, Nana said... Here is a mini preview for my big Xenoblade piece for that Monado zine I was a part of. And, uh, well, this is the perfect time for it. It's, uh, Klaus and Maynith. Which, I, I, I'm not gonna say more. Those are the names I'm using. But that is Klaus and Maynith. Um, back in scientist times. And man, you did a great job. That, that is lovely. That is lovely. This is actually making me emotional. It makes me wonder if, like, there has to be a point where, like, Klaus wasn't, like, an asshole. You know what I mean? Like, I think he got, like, diluted. Right? Like, what if there was a point where they really were just chill like this and they were just scientists working on a thing, you know? Um, that is so, so well done. <laughs> it's so well done. Oh, there's also something about just, like, scientist, like, designs. I love, like, the hand, the hands in the lab coat pockets design kind of thing going on. And, uh, Maynith looking great, as always. Very, very good. Very good. It's honestly really sad for Maynith. Um. I, like, good on Maynith for, like, honestly, like, I feel like she, she's very underrated because, like, she really took it all in stride. You know what I mean? Um, clearly, it, it seems like they don't remember their past life that much anymore because it's been so long. Or, or at least they don't remember it enough. Um, but I like that Maynith has all of this happen to her, and she chooses to be someone who's, like, actually, like, a good god. You know, she makes life, but then she interacts with that life, and, like, you know, for thousands of years is with them, 
you know, until the very end, you know? Yeah, sticking with her morals to the very end. It, like, she... Very respectable character. Um, and, uh, w damn. She went down fighting, too. Like, just, uh, such a good, such a good character. This is an amazing piece of art, Nana. And, uh, I'm very biased, but this is probably one of my favorites I've seen you do. And I say that to you a lot, but that's because you keep making amazing stuff, but really, really good stuff. I really want a game with Maynith and Klaus before the disaster. A prequel game would be so sick. <clears throat> if they give us, like, a Xenoblade Zero, I, I would, I would go crazy over that. Because there is a few... Like, I feel like there's a lot you could actually do. Um, and I mean, yeah, the ending would be, like, tragedy. But it's actually not the first time that we've had a Xenoblade game do that. So, um, you know, a prequel with a tragedy, without saying too much. Um, so they could absolutely do it. I would buy it. I would buy the limited edition. I have a limited edition of all the other games, except for X. But, um, because I was poor back then. But still, <laughs> this is really, really lovely. Very, very good work, Nana. God damn. I can't stop looking at this one. Like, I would love a print of this. Um, on God for real. And that's not sarcasm. Like, I would actually love a print of that. Um, Maynith is a bit understated while being stuck between a lot of different plot lines. But what Maynith stood led to Shulk getting the world with no need for gods. That's true. Uh, she actually is the first person who said, you know, fight for that world without, uh, for a world for with no gods. She was like the first one to drop that line, I believe. Um, and it's such a banger line. <laughs> it's such a banger line. Why do we need someone, you know, why, 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 you know, well, there's different things out there. But if you have, but, you know, just in case it's like Zanza, you should be allowed to dictate everything that you do. All right, hang on one second. Ugh. Also, yeah, they don't get enough art. That's like the scientists in general. It's like really, really good work. Um, Next up, hang on one second here. Next up comes from Retro, and they said Chat Chan with a random B guy on her head. And I believe this is why Nana posted the stuff above because Retro asked for a reference on Chat Chan's OG like casual design, and uh, that came out really really cute. I love the way you did her face. She has like, she has like the the cute like cat looking face, you know, with the little three kind of smile. Very cute. And there you go, Chat. Even you got the star in the Xenoblade finale. And of course, a little balloon guy just just riding on top. Very very well done. I for real though, the way you drew the face is so fitting, of like Chat Chan. <laughs> you did say Cat Chan. True, true. It all it all it all it all plays together. But like, like Chat Chan having like a smug like gremlinish face, it, like works perfectly into Chat. Like this is Chat about to troll me and be like say soup for like the twentieth time, but never gets old. It's it's still a solid bit. Very, very good work. Yeah, you guys are cat-coded. Are you saying we're gremlins? Yeah, but I mean it like affectionately, Mel. I mean I mean it affectionately. <laughs> Absolutely. Alright. In the most loving way possible, you are gremlins. But you know what? I am too. Sometimes. You're more gremlin-y though, chat. On the gremlin scale, alright? But this is lovely. Another favorite retro. Really, really good work. Um. Oh, oh my god. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, Getting a little sleepy. We're ending around at a good point then. I'm at soup. What do you mean you're at soup? I mean I'm at soup. <laughs> welcome in. Welcome in, Function Fox. You made it to the end of the stream, but we do have fan art at the end of all of our streams. And uh, we actually did get some Xenoblade art, which was really nice. Like right here. Um, Hope you're doing very, very well. At the end of every single stream, we have fan art sections, so it's always a lot of fun. Um, that being said, we actually do have more. Uh, the next piece comes from the Let's Play Baseball Curse. They said, I love Xenoblade, and we got a... You can do it with a balloon guy holding a Monado. And that... What I say like that? Monado. <laughs> That's very, very cute. Once again, I love your pixel style. I love the way you use shadows and everything in your pixel style. It's very nice, and it's very motivational. I love that you can do it, you know? And uh, that's pretty much what chat was saying for this entire finale. And uh, it made me feel really, really cool. So, you know, thank you for making me feel that way. Um, but you guys are incredibly lovely. This art is incredibly lovely, and um, I, I've, I've really been loving your art lately, man. Seriously, it's been, it's been a pleasure having you here and all the stuff you make. So thank you so much for this. 
Um, it's fantastic. It would make wait, it'd be funny to make a fun epoxy sculpture of soup and send it to Shady if I had a thing to do it. God. And I would thank you too. I would thank you too. But I would be very angry though. But in like a gremlin way. Uh, he has a knife. <laughs> what do you got there, balloon guy? A knife! No! Uh, but really, really good job. Comments are very much appreciated. I needed to hear that. Yeah, man. Keep keep up. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Seriously. You're already great, and you can only get better from here. That goes for anyone doing art, yeah? Um, Hang on one minute. Okay. Uh, the next piece of art comes from QB. And... This is insane. Uh, QB said, "B guys, Monado swords are fun to design. Also putting off, also putting off Mechon legs, <laughs> dude. QB, holy shit, dude, that Monado looks amazing. The amount of detail, like the tightness on on this design, is insane. Like the line work, dude. That might be this might be one of like the best weapons or whatever I, I've seen you draw like ever." Also, I love Balloon Guy holding it and, like, his, like, you know, his determined face. But, man, that is wonderful. B-Guy became a god. Zanza went inside and, and, and homie woke up. <laughs> homie, homie, homie became woke. Um, but that is just so lovely. I, I genuinely love the way you, you made the sword. That actually looks so sick. Yeah, damn. I don't. I don't know what else to say. Like, just really good job, QB. You blew me away with this one, bud. Um, a big, big favorite. And uh, yo, keep this one. Keep this one in your folders, man. I'm keeping it in my folder. Holy shit. I accept B guys. My God. Yeah, I'll let him do it. Even if he wishes where he's the god, instead of a world with no gods, I'm. I'm sure he. I'm sure he'd like be cool. He wouldn't want to mess with any of us. He'd just be like, uh, candies for everyone and balloons. Which, like, I. I could deal with that. Yeah, no, yeah, QB's art style hits. QB's art style is iconic around here. Very good work, my man. Um, and next up, from another iconic art person, uh, we have Nana. I'm going to show the art first, and then I'm going to read what Nana said, but it's more Uwu, and if you don't know who Uwu is, uh, don't worry about it. Well, I'm going to say she's an OC character in the community, and she's actually, uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to be married to her in the OC community, so don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You should never worry about it because that's my wife. Um, the moon is beautiful tonight, isn't it, Shady? Oh, that's lovely. Let's see what Nana said. Nana said, every time I get sentimental, I feel like drawing Uwu showing off her pretty blue eyes. Uh, once upon a time, back when I first made Uwu, I didn't have any good references in terms of a good female protagonist. So a big inspiration for me was Fiora. Because I did finish Xenoblade literal weeks before I made her. So here's Uwu with short hair commenting on the weather. Oh, it's a reference to the... Okay, I see. It's a reference to Fiora saying it. Uh, I didn't even know that Fiora was a was a reference point for you when you were doing stuff for Uwu. Um, but honestly, thank you in chat for enabling me, enabling me to draw cringe and encouraging me to continue when I thought I should stop. I will continue Tomodachi shenanigans or until I shift interests. I, and I would love to see more. And honestly... Um, I mean, thank you for your wonderful art. If me and chat could help you and encourage you to continue art when when you would have stopped, um, I'm glad we did that. Cause what a what a goddamn shame it would have been if we didn't get to see your art in all these years that followed. Um, and I really mean that. It goes for a lot of like, cause there's a lot of people here who considered like stopping art as well. And it's like what a what a damn shame it would have been. Um, Nana, we we love you. We love your art. We love your company. And um, I'm glad that not just me, I am glad that this community can can help, you know. Um, that's one of my favorite things is that this community helps out a lot of the other people in the community. And um, I really hope it can stay that way, you know, whether it stays like this size or even if we grow, I hope that we can at least keep that like level in, of integrity uh, about us, at least the majority, you know. Um, but I, I really do mean it. Like, thanks for being respectful here to everyone else. Thanks for be thank you for being respectful in other people's chats. You know, I really love when like streamer friends and like mutuals or acquaintances talk about you guys and how great you are. Um, it really makes me happy and like makes me unafraid of rating because there's there are people who are afraid of rating because you know the comments won't be good or they'll be like, how are they going to react? How's it going to look for me? And I don't I never have to worry about that. So thank you for being. A really, really uh, amazing group of people. And thank you, Naniel, for being uh, just the most goaded human. Um, for real. Thank you. Alright. One minute here, real quick. 
I'm the goat? Bah! That's me goading. <laughs> nah, you're the goat as well, Chica. All, like, I, I do mean that though, Chica. You, you as well are a very lovely company to have around. You guys are all lovely. I wish I could name you all one by one, but we'd be here forever. We wouldn't. I'm just lazy. <laughs> but just know, just know that I recognize like all of y'all and I love when y'all show up. Okay. From Retro. They said, B-Guy tried to draw a beard, but didn't realize it's permanent. Well, shit. How am I going to get this off of him? Do I treat him like a whiteboard and just use like a whiteboard eraser on him? Do I just dunk him in, into a tub of water face first? Now, that sounds like I'm waterboarding him, but I feel like he can breathe. Actually, I don't know if he can. Okay, maybe we don't do that. Maybe we just wipe it off. Maybe we just get some like, some like, you know, solvent. Which, like, I guess this wouldn't really be a solvent thing. You wouldn't use solvent on this. But, like, something that removes permanent marker. And then, um, yeah. Time for the baptism. <laughs> More like the baptism. Because small baby. Um, but man. Alright, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to clear that from him. It's okay. He's a god. He can remove it. He gets, like, Monado Sharpie remover. <laughs> That's the art. Also, okay, by the way, how sick was it when, like, Shulk actually got the god art? Literally an art for slaying gods. That's what happened at the end. It literally said God on the Monado. It, it's just so cool. It's so cool. He perceived killing God and it let him do it. <laughs> like, bruh. Um, but this is this is amazing retro. It's super funny and also just it plays into the whole he really is just a baby. Um I love this. Very good work. Very good work. Um Next up is from Riggle. Riggle said they... Uh, so those, those who don't know, there is a Chat Chan. That's her name. It's another OC. It's just an anime girl to, like, represent Chat. We've had her in many styles and designs. This is just one of them right here. Um, oh, and Fox. Oh, Chica. Thank you for the gifts up the function, Fox. I really appreciate that. Goddamn. Uh, I, I always appreciate you guys doing that for new peeps. Well, function, Fox, if you do choose to stick around, whether you do or don't, at least now you have some emotes and a and a ad free experience if you do, you know, choose to come on by. Uh, but thank you so much for doing that, Chica. Really, it, it means a hell of a lot. Y'all are too goddamn nice. I mean that in a good way though. But uh, always be too nice. Um, well, I mean, you know, <laughs> stand up for yourself, but also be too nice. You know what I mean? Okay, good. Next up is from Riggle. They said I made a chat coon for Noma's community, little brother of Chat Chan. Okay, wait a minute. So, so now on Noma's community, a friend of mine, another streamer, there is another Chat Chan, and it's a little brother. <laughs> wait, that's amazing. Wait, Noma's probably gonna see it today then. Yeah, let me let me open it up. We really like your music on the YouTube's. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate that. I have some more stuff coming on the way, which I always do. I always do. Um, but I, I can't wait to show you all some more stuff. I might make some more stuff on stream soon too. Some more music writing because I'm running out of my backlog of stuff to upload. So, uh, we need to make more spooky music together. Um, but he here he is. There he is. Calls Noma Senpai. Hair, fluff, cat ears, horns, whatever the artist wants. I need to get, I need to feel them get down your little bro. That's great. That's great. That's a dope design too. Very, very cute. There's Chat Chan again as well. Um, I, I, I need to see, I need to see Noma's, uh, response. Well, I guess I'll be, I guess I'll be lurking her stream today. It's probably too early for, actually, it's not too early for her to start, because we're, our time zone is different now. She might be starting soon, maybe, but, um, really, really good job, and really clever, as always, Riggle. You are goaded with the designs. Absolutely goaded with the designs. Um, yeah, really, really good stuff. One second, please. He was in her last stream. I'm sorry. Oh, I missed it. I fell asleep. Well, I bet she loved it. I love it too. You did very, very good, Riggle. And um, finally, this final piece of art is honestly kind of a perfect one to end on. Um, it's from Nana Does Art. And it's an old piece from 2019. But they said, I finished off my arts with an oldie, but I made this not too long after finishing my first ever playthrough of the first Xenoblade. I love them a normal amount. Don't worry, I feel the same way about them. A totally normal amount that I love them as well. But, uh, what a, what a great, what a great 
Oh, one more minute? Okay, okay. QB's got something. QB's got something. Let QB cook for a minute. But this is still a lovely, lovely thing for the final Xenoblade stream. Um, and it is the ending, because you can tell by the short hair. It's just them holding hands on that same beach. And just chilling out. Very good work. I still fear we're going back to Xenoblade 1 or 2 after 3 in its DLC. Yeah, it's wild. It's wild in like a... Not a hindsight, but like a... Yeah, hindsight. Not, mm, I don't know. It, it, but it, it, it is. It is. It is. Like, I can't wait for chat to experience everything. The story to these games are grand as hell. But this is lovely. But you can also see how much, like, Nan has improved. Like, this already looks amazing. But you could still tell. You know? And that's why I love seeing artists just continue to do stuff around here. Because, like, it's so fun to see how you guys progress and improve. And it happens to literally, like, every single one of you. Even if you don't think so. I notice. Because I'm not the perfectionist this time around. For once in my life. <laughs> I, can, I can look at it and just be like, damn. I can see it. I can see it. Um, but this is adorable. Alright, I'm gonna give QB a minute. Um, but seriously, um, thank you everyone for all of the raids, the subs, the donations, the gift subs, the bits. Um, I don't have to keep stressing how much it means to me, both personally and also financially. Um... It, it, it's good, you know, uh, I, I don't always say it because I'm not someone who likes to try and talk about money or whatever, but this job's hard. I, it doesn't seem like it because like part of it is like, yeah, I sit down, I get to play video games and that's cool, you know, um, but it, it, it's hard sometimes to like keep things going with like music and this and like commissions and like sometimes there's there's parts where it feels like it could all fall apart at any minute, you know, and I'm always like, well, damn, this, this, I, I just... I'm glad that I can keep doing these things. I'm glad that I've been saving my money, you know. You know, I'm glad that uh, that I'm able to do all of this comfortably, you know. Um, and you guys give me so much peace of mind that when you do actually support me, it, it's nice to know that I'm not stuck on algorithm stress anymore, you know. The way I used to be when I used to complain all the time and be like, oh man, I'm like scared of this and that and the views and blah, blah, blah. I don't have to care about that because I have all of your support here. I have your support on Patreon and stuff. So if I upload a video, it's still there. It's still content that you'll enjoy. And if I can't make a video, then all the support you guys are giving me here allow me to take that week off. Like this week. I'm taking it off so I can finish commissions uh, because I'm able to, you know? So, like, thank you, everyone. Um, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not the best at, like, properly giving you stuff in return and, like, thanking you. I've always been pretty bad with that in terms of, like, just giving gifts to people. Um, the most I can do right now is really just this I mean, eventually I have stuff planned, like charity streams, some other special stuff, but uh, I, I am very slow with these things. You can blame depression. <laughs> it's the it's like the core reason. That and like the fear of things going wrong is why it takes so long to do all these things. And I'm always like, it's going to happen and it takes forever. But I always end up actually doing it, you know? And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that the entertainment is enough. I just wish I could do more because you guys have done a lot. I know you don't have to, but I would like to one day give you proper thank yous. I, I just really appreciate that you guys do all the things and you want to see me go far and this and that. Like, it, it means a lot. It's one of those things I can't really fathom. So, like, thank you, uh, thank you for, um, you know, pushing me in that direction. And I actually got teary-eyed. That's crazy. Wow. But seriously, um, you know, thank you for... Chair, please, stop falling apart while I sit on you. Uh, <laughs> thanks, for, uh, thanks for making my life just super worth it. And thank you for making me not worry and... Um, like I said, once again, I hate talking about financial stuff. If I ever was in some kind of issue, I probably wouldn't even mention it. <laughs> but just know that I am in a good spot now because of you guys. And I'm, I'm not currently in a state where I am worrying about my life or anything. I'm not stressing about that. So thank you for helping me carry, you know? Uh, but yeah. All right, you got it uploaded. All right, good, good. Let 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 let's shy away from this. I I I can't I can't keep going. I'm actually gonna <laughs> I'm actually gonna lose it. <laughs> I just really love you guys. That's all. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'm glad I got to be open. Because, yeah, sometimes, like, you know, it's it's hard to get stuff done. Just thank you for being really patient with me. I'm a quirky fellow myself in my brain. So, you know, thank you. All right. The final piece of art. All right. This is it. From QB. They said, it was all a ploy to get Shady to say more nice things about us. <laughs> Finally finished. Balloon slash guy. Yup. It's a balloon guy mechon. Holy shit. You did it. And the colors came out so good, QB. Holy goddamn shit. That's so good. 
I even love that like the naming scheme. The naming scheme even works with a like a not not a not an outside mechon, but a mechonist mechon. Where you had like defensive onion. Now you have balloon guy. That is very, very cool. Now I have to ask, does the hat do anything? Or is that just for aesthetic? Like are those spin lines or are those halos around the hat? I I, I have to ask now. Because I was wondering before. I love the tail, by the way. It's super cool. But yeah, it's B-Guy as a mechon. Is that not cool as hell? Is that not cool as hell? This, yeah. No, for real. Like, the weight was worth it, QB. Very good job. Excellent work as always. And uh, honestly, if you don't mind, I wouldn't mind making this like a stream starting soon screen. With credit to you, of course. Kind of like the thrusters on the face mechon. Okay. Okay, good. That's awesome. Okay. I actually really, really like that. Also, those thrusters look so goddamn cool. Okay, that works perfectly. But yeah, really, really good job, QB. Thank you so much. Um, Very worth it. And honestly, a lovely piece to end on. Uh, For real, just keep doing what you do, man. I, I love how clever your designs are. And uh, I always look forward to seeing more. I and I really do. Like, these are these always bring me joy to see when like, oh yeah, I know this artist. Hell yeah. And when it's a new artist, it's also just really exciting. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, thank you everyone. That was an incredibly lovely stream. And, uh, I'm glad I can be open with you guys sometimes, you know, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm not like a super open guy when it comes to like super personal things, but like, you know, I like to every once in a while indulge cause like there's, you guys deserve to know. I don't like just randomly hiding shit where it's like, oh, why do I take so long to do stuff? It's like, well, now, you know, now, you know, it's kind of out of my control at times, but I, I, I do my best. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad that you guys just don't mind. Or even if you do, at least you're patient about it. You know? <laughs> you're respectful. And I I love that about you guys. So, anyways. I am going to send this off to someone else. I'm going to send it off to Avi. Because Avi is a good friend of mine. She's lovely. And she's working on very, very cute uh, ghost VTuber models for people. And um, she is a bunny VTuber. She's great. She was in here for a bit. And uh, she's got a different model. I don't know what this model is, actually. I don't know if she made it or someone else made it, but I've never seen this one. Um, but we're going to go check her out. Be, you know, be nice as always. Be good is what I say, I guess. Send her some cicada love. And uh, I will probably... I will probably see you guys tomorrow if I'm free. I still have a, I have a commission I need to finish up this week as well. So I may or may not be around this week. I will try my best. But if not, next week we will do some stuff, some new stuff as well. We'll probably finish up Zelda. And that's going to be another cry night, by the way. Um, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. We have content. Either way, expect some spooks. Expect some Zelda. Expect some funnies as well to go with the spooks. And uh, expect some Xenoblade. Thank you for everything once again. As I always say, be good and keep being yourself because you are lovely. And uh, yeah, just just embrace who you are. Love yourself a little more. You deserve it. And uh, know that you are special because I think you're neat. And if you think I'm cool and the cool guy thinks you're neat, that makes you cool. That makes you pretty cool yourself. Anyways, <laughs> goodbye, everyone. I'll see you soon.